Ladies, ladies, if you feel me, say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come on, fellas, if you feel me, say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Virgins, if you haven't felt a person, say hell yeah. hell yeah. If you can divide by zero, let me hear you say hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, you can't. Mathematically impossible. Listen, don't be Pavlovian. We're looking for actual answers here, trying to gather information. Let's go. If you like drink and booze, let me hear you say hell yeah. Hell yeah. If you like smoking weed, let me hear you say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Get these motherfuckers. Pot is ruining America. Yeah, we got a roll of pot heads. We're going to get back up over. Sight, if you don't give a fuck about the law, let me hear you say fuck the police. If that seems oversimplified to you, let me hear you say it's a really tough job and they're doing their best. If you know nothing about the conflict between Israel and Palestine and thus feel super uncomfortable weighing in on it, you've read about it, let me hear you say no comment. Good call. I have no idea what's going on over there. What are they fighting about? I don't know. That aged poorly. Let's watch a cartoon. Uh, now I know where to cut it off for next time. Let's watch a cartoon. Jay first, you're last. Welcome, Franny. We're not selling snowballs to cheat. We're selling destiny. A shot at the bigger times. <laughs> oh, hey, strong man. How's the day? Uh, 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 explain. What, this? I'm just practicing my front facing. Practicing your front? Front facing, yeah. You get to do it all the time. Oh, goodness, no. Hello. Now it's my Hello. time to shine. Hello. Shine like a dime in the book. Hello? Okay. Th thank you so much yes. for the resub, Baronaid. This is horrifying, by the way. Because I'm front facing, home star. You wouldn't expect Wendy to sound like Bambi, would you? So why would front facing, home star, sound like regular home star? Who the crap are Wendy and Bambi? Friends of mine. But now that I think about it, they actually sound pretty much the same. So it was a terrible example. But the point stands. Gene, can you believe this nonsense? <laughs> Wait, you want to try it? <laughs> yeah, give it a shot, the cheat. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Miss it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> hey, hey, back facing the cheat. All right, I'm done with this. Can I talk to left facing Homestar? Oh, my. Booty Hold cheat. On. Um, I can see a baronade. I just watched Mr. Right, which I've never heard of. What the crap was that? How was it? We're watching a cartoon right now. I'll be live in a second. Listen, you're acting dumb enough that you just might fall for this. I got a business proposition for you. Oh, you want to talk to white-facing Homestar, but he's not around. Dare I speak to back-facing Homestar? Oh, sure. But you know what that means. Every single one dead on the seven foot. Ah, my horror! The eyes! Er, wait, I mean, back to front facing, front facing! Oh, hi again. Wanna buy a snowball to the face? Three for a dollar. And there's a chance that one has five doll hairs inside. Oh, strong man. Left and maybe white facing Homestar might fall for such pedestrian shenanigans. But not me. I'm facing life head on. I'm taking the pool by the horn. Are you sure you're smarter than those other facing home stars? Yeah, yeah. I've even got a way to goose your money making scams. Oh, yeah? Whisper Vesper. Say once. Mumble Momo. Tell twice. I'm not selling snowballs. I'm selling destiny. And if you buy enough, you too can become an official snowballstiny reseller. Ha <laughs> ha! I never thought I'd say this. But well, thanks, front face and home star. Cheers to you. Here's beads in your eye. Still haven't figured out how to drink with this thing on. I'm getting pretty thirsty. Well, that sure was a cartoon. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. Uh, 
Brenda. How's the day? I'm Bambi, remember? We're just borrowing each other's shorts. Oh, why? I can hardly tell me apart. I don't know. I don't know how to turn you back. Uh, what did that spell? Humble, humble pie makes his cheat turn back to his side. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> These are good. Like a dime in the book. The Easter eggs are better than the cartoon. I've taken the pool by the hole. Those were some good tunes. Let's get... Wait, no. Those were some good tunes. Let's get some games going. Like this. What have I done? Hello? Wow, I, I realized what happened, and that was the timing on that. Thank you so much for the res the double resub, Franny. I appreciate it. You scared the shit out of me. And also, a hype train is close. Thank you so much for the resub, Baronade, and thank you for the sneaky Hello. resub. An anonymous gifter, eh? Okay, I guess we're in a hype train now. Welcome back. It's the Marsh. If I type come on and ride, it autofills to come on and ride it, the train by Quad City DJs. Will Marsh get an ad? Ooh, it's it's getting trickier to skip these ads. All right, let's talk about this movie, Mr. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hype train, Franny and Baronade. I really appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. I feel so welcomed. I wish I had ran a pre-roll ad, but that's okay because we're all we're all friends here. We're all subbed. It's all it's all good to me. Mr. Wright was great. It's Sam Rockwell and Anna Kendrick. Sam Rockwell plays a hitman who kills the people who hire him. I have to look this movie up. Um, this movie is uh. 6.3% on IMDb and 45% on Rotten Tomatoes. And the the movie poster, hold on. I want to I want to put up the movie poster. <laughs> if you liked the movie Baronade, that's what matters the most. Did anybody else watch any movies over Valentine's Day? Any sweet movies? Let me catch up on chat real quick. Um Baronade, uh Franny, thanks once again for the for the first yeah, the the anonymous gifts. I gotta watch it sometime. We'll watch the trailer after the hype train. But this this poster though, I just I I just wanna don't look it up. <laughs> You're next to kin. I never really paid attention to these lyrics. Okay, so here's the movie poster. Okay, put this up in your college dorm room. Sam Rockwell, Anna Kendrick, and somehow Tim Roth got looped into this thing. They make a killer couple. You know what? I will say, this photo of Sam Rockwell that they photoshopped a, a nose onto is pretty cute. And do you know how I know they photoshopped a nose onto it? Sam Rockwell's a good actor. What are you talking about? I like Sam Rockwell. What do you mean, how's he get hired? So hold on. I want to show you how I know they photoshopped a nose onto him. Because the Japanese movie poster, which is a much smaller resolution, the Japanese movie poster is the same photo and he doesn't have the nose. <laughs> so they just, boop! <laughs> it's like, boop! Oh shit, I messed it up. Boop! <laughs> boop! I got your nose! Boop! It is the same picture of Anna Kendrick and they photoshopped the ears and no, it's not the same picture of her. That's a different picture. She's just, is that the same picture? Did they like Photoshop everything? They Did they Photoshop her arms into a different position? Is that the same picture? 
No way! They photoshopped a different shirt onto her and her arm into a different position. I, my world is rocked right now. I can't believe it. Wow. I don't think that's her body. Mmm. They just, they took her head from this shoot and then, and then put it on a different body or maybe a different shoot of Anna Kendrick. Wow. The movies are a wild business. His nose is still funny to me. Boop. Yeah, she's got really tiny arms there. You think so? You think that's someone else's body? Well, I don't know though, because they got this picture. Hold on though. Because they got this picture where she's holding, she's wearing the same picture. This might be Anna Kendrick though, because. They just might have taken it from a different shoot. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is one you can really put on your wall. Thanks again for the hype train, Baron Aiden Franny. I appreciate it. So, here she's wearing the same clothes as, as this poster, and she also has the gun. So, I think... I think... Well, they could have, I guess, put a model in her costume, but I think that is Anna Kendrick's body but they took her head from a different... Oh, yeah, sure. We don't have to talk about anyone's weight. Um, I'm, I'm, we're more, I'm trying to be uh, forensic in terms of what is and is not from photo shoots for the movie Mr. Right with Anna Kendrick. <laughs> All right. I guess we can watch the trailer and then move on from this. How are you? How are you, Rainbow? Tim Roth is great in everything. He really tries. <laughs> some some raisin. What? Uh, some raisin. All right, let's get this out of here. We've got like the the train's over. Thank you for the support of the hype train. Enjoy your level one train emotes. Home for a couple days. Home home from where? Mr. Right trailer. All right, and then we're gonna play video games. Um, there's one that says official trailer one, and it's two minutes and thirty seconds. And there's one that says official trailer one, and it's three minutes and thirty seconds. So I'm gonna assume the three minute one has a bunch of spam and filler in the video. <laughs> like sometimes those trailer channels will put like a bunch of bullshit on the front or back end, and it's like I'm coming to watch a movie trailer, not whatever blog spam you're trying to show me. Scoop. We watched a Mr. Right. <laughs> Are we? Uh... <laughs> Are we going to do a server, uh, a Marsh Discord server movie night with the movie Mr. Right? Hold on. Everything's messed up over here. Have you seen this? Um, have you seen this movie, Scoop? I wish teaser trailers were the main trailers we see. Did any of everybody see the Deadpool trailer? Hi. Hey. Supposed to be in Milwaukee killing your husband. So why are you here? He puts on the nose Wrong. in the movie. Sure. Okay. Nobody's perfect. Put the subtitles on. I haven't seen it. Well, let's hope this trailer doesn't spoil the whole movie. Oh, I was like, like cheating on you, maybe. Oh, is that the guy from um from Broad City? Paul W. Downs. He was in that one music video where they put him in a cage like like a puppy. It was really fucking hot. Like Dua Lipa or someone. Of oh, he looks amazing in that shirt. One thing about Hollywood movies, is people are going to be good looking. Can we comment on people's bodies and faces positively? This movie could be like, how how long is this movie? Hey, did you have to finish a book on tape? No, sorry. I had to kill somebody in the parking lot. Yeah, into it. 
Why would How old is um, Go, blow his face off. Sam Rockwell compared to Anna Kendrick, though? He seems like a oh, he is him. snazzy in those suits. You are FB. Oh, hold on. This fucking trailer house where they're like, okay, how do we explain Tim Roth's character? He seems like a sexy rain man or something. Thank you. A sexy rain man or something. People are always saying that about me. You are FBI, and you have been assigned a new target. <laughs> what is that? You are FBI, and you have been assigned a new target, Tim Roth, who is also in this movie. All right, let me catch up on this chat. Um, hello, Scoop. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you being here. Um, like someone doing Princess Bride. <laughs> okay. We're talking about my Discord, Franny. Seventeen years. It was a big deal when I Googled it. Wait, are people talking about the the is there age gap discourse for Mr. Right? Because I was just like commenting on it. She's still like an adult. Anna Kendrick's been an adult since like fucking up in the air. Hey cat, how are you doing? Okay, let me shout some more people out while we watch this fucking movie trailer that I checked out from. He quit? No, he developed a uh, moral code. He said he killed a guy. What is this? Wait, what wait a minute. Tim Roth's doing an accent? Hold on. What is he? Is he doing like fucking <laughs> knives out? What is this? What the fuck? Who hire him. Yeah. Is this guy dead? Just unconscious. This whole reverse hitman thing is like. It's weird. I know. You're the, like the greatest, and then you kill people and. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! RZA! Just shoot him in the face. Some crackheads in Brooklyn with better guns. Get out of here. Now that was good trailer editing. They show the cast, and then I'm like, "What the fuck? RZA's in this movie?" And then they show RZA. That's good. That's good trailer editing. Damn. And fucking RZA, man. Just shoot him in the face. What the fuck? What's RZA doing in this movie? Bad. Thanks. Oh man, I am into this dynamic. I'll say that. This movie looks fun. We can watch this movie on Discord. Exclamation point Discord. What's the name of the movie? Oh! Well, all right. Maybe we'll watch that. Whoa, more like Mr. Wrong. Wow. What a trailer. Fucking hell. Gotti, where's the Tony Soprano emote when you need it? He rang that bell. All right. Hi, Cat. Hi, Scoop. Did I shout Scoop out? I think I did. I can shout scoop out again. Just every, click on everybody's names. And aside from Baronade, I think everybody streams. Rainbow just got back into streaming the other day. I don't know if it's going to be a, a long time thing, but I like to see it. Thank you. Thank you for Tony filling up the screen. I've been watching The Sopranos. Um, hold on. Let me catch up with chat and then I'll talk about The Sopranos. I guess you're my Mr. Right. The movie ends. Roll credits. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't ever stop believing. Like someone doing... Oh. Um, in the film... Wait. Don't... don't which one's CIA undercover? Tim Roth? Because of Beep Boop, you are a CIA agent. I'm in an ad about being a graphic designer. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't run an ad to stop the pre-rolls today. Knives in. Jesus. She was 30. Yeah, it's fine for someone who's 30 to date someone who's 17 years older. I think that's fine. If you if you disagree, that's also fine. You don't have to date someone who's 17 years older or younger than you. <laughs> Riza is actor man now. I don't know about that. Just when he's napping, so no mic. Oh, that's okay. Everybody be quiet. In his intro scene, it explains all your questions about Tim Roth. Well, the trailer should have under explained all my questions. 
No, I was just saying, like, when in your stream... Never mind. You gotta be quiet in your stream, because the, cause the baby's napping. Oh, anyway. I've been watching The Sopranos, and I really think it's interesting how, in the first season, they go through all these... Um, all this effort to be like, Tony's not that bad of a guy relatively. Like you have these scenes where like his therapist is at dinner and they're all being judgmental, but it's like, well, you know, how, how bad is he in context of our big bad world? And then in season three, he, they're like, they have to remind you that Tony's actually a bad guy. So he, they, he starts having panic attacks racistly while looking at a box of uncle Ben's rice. Funniest television show of all time. When do you do... I'm wanting the teenager... No, she's not a teenager. What? Well, if you're 30, you shouldn't date someone who's 17 years younger. That's not what I mean. Ugh. Like, if you're Tim Roth's age in... Never mind. I'm not gonna go bend over backwards to explain what I meant. When you're of a certain age, it no longer matters, but only you still shouldn't, it shouldn't even have to go with saying, but yes, you shouldn't date teenagers no matter what. Obviously, just because, just in case it had to be said out loud. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I don't, I don't want anyone to take any mistaken implications or um, like, Quote me fucking out of context. Yeah, don't start texting teenagers when you're an adult rapper from Canada who used to be on Degrassi. Or even if you're not any of those things. If you're if you're an adult, don't fucking text teenagers. It's weird. Don't do that. Unless it's your kid. It's fucking weirdo. Yeah, I understand that that <laughs> that Rain wasn't just just wasn't paying attention. When do movie though? Um, I don't know. When's a good time for people to win a, a day? I'm not streaming. Um, I don't know. Who, anybody want to watch a movie on, on Friday? Tonight? No, Franny, stop it. 9 p.m. GMT is like 4 p.m. my time. We're definitely not watching a movie at 4 p.m. What about Friday? Friday night. Friday night. I'm thinking that. We just might watch a bad movie on the Marsh Discord. <laughs> Not for this game, Franny. <laughs> uh oh. I'm horny! That's why I honk! He's so fucking funny, Connor O'Malley. I saw a video once of someone and they were being sincere and all I could think about was the Connor O'Malley, um, Howard Schultz videos. He's like, Mr. Howard Schultz, I need you to save democracy. You're working on Friday night? Hmm. Okay. Weekend. Um, we'll figure it out. I'm going to plug the disc, uh, the discord links already in there. Um, we'll figure out a date that we can do. It'll have to be next weekend, because today's Sunday. We can watch Mr. Ro you already seen that movie anyway! <laughs> go, go post in the Discord about what would be a good time for y'all to have a movie night for us to watch Mr. Right, starring, um, let me remember all the actors' faces I just looked at. Sam Rockwell, Anna Kendrick, Tim Roth, and RZA. And one other person whose name I didn't recognize. Okay. Who wants to play video games? Who wants to watch the Deadpool trailer? No, we're gonna play video. <laughs> Next time I take when I take a break, I'll play the fucking Deadpool trailer. Rizzo. Hey! They fired the guy who did my voice. That's not what Rizzo sounds like. Or alternatively, um I could I couldn't sing Beauty School Dropout, and that's okay. And some mount? Yeah, I'd like to... I wish I knew... Is that actor handsome? I'd like to mount handsome. I actually don't know who that is. Another activated. It was good to see you, Kat. I appreciate you dropping in. 
So, hold on. <laughs> Last time we played this game, Ansem, Ansem, where's that? Have you seen that video of Bill Farmer talking about being in Yakuza? And then he's like, hey, Curryu, how are you doing? It's fucking great. I'll post it on, I'll post it in your Discord. I, I retweeted it. Now I have to find that video. Because then someone edited it with a clip of Curryu being like, moshi moshi. And on the other side, it's, hey, Curryu. I'm so sorry I can't do goofy voice. It's really, because, well, the, the goofy voice that I do is not what Goofy's voice sounds like. Oh, like if I were to do Goofy's voice, it'd be down here. But when Bill Farmer does it, it's actually like a much higher register. Where the fuck is this video? Did someone delete it? Um, Beyonce. Here it is. Okay. How, how do I? All right, here we go. Mush, mush. Hey, care you. How are you? <laughs> I love that. That's really good. I don't even know who Bill Farmer voices in. Um. Oh my goodness, I've got, <laughs> I've got the wrist strap on and my control. Why do I have the wrist strap on? I'm not gonna throw the controller in the fucking screen while I play another code revisited. Let me take off the fucking wrist strap. Oh my goodness. This must be okay, nice. wait, right. So last time we played, our dad invited us to Murder Island and um, Ansem Mount. Okay, I'd like to, anyway. Let's see what Ansem Mount looks like and then we'll play the fucking game and I'll tell you. I'll tell you about, oh, mm. 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 Anyway, last time we played the game, we got invited to Murder Island, and then we met this guy who says he's our dad, but and our dad's also been missing for 13 years after our mom got murdered, and it's uh, our father's a murder suspect in the murder of our mother, and then there's this guy claiming to be our mom, and also our aunt is there, who's our dad's sister, and our aunt seems to think that this mystery man is our father, but he certainly doesn't act very fatherly. Anyway, we found his secret lab on the island. Also, there's some guy named Sam or Jim or something, and he's supposed to be evil, so... I feel like the guy pretending to be our dad is Sam or Jim or whoever. Lab. This must be dad's lab. We don't have... Oh, we have a backlog of all the dialogue. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to the very beginning of the game and read all the dialogue. No, just kidding. So here we are in dad's secret laboratory. Live the smartest boy you've ever seen, but Ashley blows his experiments to smithereens. Name that tune. The best thing about those fucking shows is that 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 one and the other one, they had lyrical theme songs, but they only played over the credits. Like the main theme song wasn't lyrical. So then in the in the credits it would be like, you know, fighting crime trying to save the world. I'm never going to play this game cuz now I'm going to talk about that video where Christian Bale sung that song. Then I'm going to talk about how Christian Bale is a surprisingly good voice actor. And then I'm going to talk about how Robert Pattinson is a surprisingly good voice actor. And we're never going to go anywhere. You know who could be a surprisingly good voice out actor if you hired him for opportunities? Nah, I don't know either. Where's dad? Ashley, what is all this? <laughs> Franny, are you just gonna... <laughs> they came from under the ground. When I fix my bass, I could learn to play that. I don't know. My dad's stuff, I guess. Ugh! <sighs> Oh, where's... Okay, we've got Ashley in the corner. Good. What's the matter? No, this is a game about ghosts, not skeletons. I'm just getting so frustrated. Where's Dad already? I like how they haven't totally toned down. No, Franny, it's all right. It's it's quite all right. I just... I was, like, <laughs> pretty disoriented. Also, an ad starting. I'm not going to snooze it because I forgot to do a, an ad during the intro part where we watched cartoons and talked about stuff. So... If you're not subbed, you'll get a couple ads, and then there won't be pre-rolls anymore for a little bit, and that'll be nice. Did 
God damn it. Big ol' Franny, this isn't a late night stream. We can't say whatever the hell we want. It's this one. I'm not yes. stupid. I'm smarter than you. Yes. I know where my sounds are. We looked so we're, all over the place. We looked all over the ground and also all over. Oops. Whatever. Forget it. Let's just find something to get mm. those cuffs off Jessica ourselves. Okay, right. So, some mysterious person handcuffed our aunt, but for some reason our aunt is just like, Yeah, no, it's totally fine here on Murder Island. Your father's here and nothing's wrong. And then the two of us will get off this island. What's that guy's name? Eric? What is, what is the bad guy's name in this game? <laughs> What's D's expression? What? Yeah. What's he do? Oh... Right, so Ashley wants to get off this island with Jessica. I forgot to mention, this is our friend D. He's a ghost, and his name is D. You watch Letterkenny? I've watched a lot of Letterkenny. What oh, you, you mean say? like the new stuff? No. Honestly, I stopped watching Letterkenny in like the fifth or sixth season, maybe. Um, Give him the bits. The bits. The bits. Thank you for the fucking 950 bits. The guy's name is Derek with a C. Oh, who, D? You think D's name is Derek? We should place bets. What do we think D's name is? I think I already know. You think the final season was real good? Okay, that's good to know. I, um, yeah, I kind of fell off Letter Kenny, and then also, I think, did we talk about how I was disappointed with a certain joke in the Shorzy season two finale? Like a certain, like, scene, more like, like, you know, because there's never just one joke. It's like a series of jokes. And it's like, okay, is the joke here that Shorzy and his family are a little transphobic? Or is the joke transphobic? And if it's hard to tell, I don't know. I feel like those shows are pretty good at, like, when someone's being ignorant and the joke is on the person's ignorance. It's, like, pretty clear. And that scene didn't feel that way. So anyway, um, I'm kind of taking a break from Jared Kiso's comedy until I cool off on it a little bit. But it's good to know that the last season is good because some people have said that... Um, but, you know, that's other people's opinions anyway. I I stopped watching it myself, but I've seen some people say that like the, the later seasons of Letterkenny kind of got into a rut. Which it's hard to do comedy for a long time like I feel that way about it's always sunny I made it to like season and I was watching it kind of like concurrently for a long time I made it to like season 12 I think of it's always sunny and then I was like okay what are we doing here I think it was the season where Mac got really jacked or and you know the actor too or the season after Mac got really jacked where I was just like what are we doing here every fucking season it's hard, you know. The Simpsons, South Park. I feel like once you hit a certain milestone, where you've got the same characters and the same world and you have to have a certain tone. And new people come on. Anyway. I'm not a comedy writer, so I don't know shit about... Fuck. Um, when? See, I'm... Ashley's just as confused as me at this point. Okay, let's see what Ashley said. He said, what did she say? And she said, what? So there you go. <laughs> and then he said, I don't know. I fell in love. She said the two of us will get off this island. Oh, did she mean the two of us, Ashley and Jessica, or the two of us, Ashley and D? Just now, you said you're going to leave without even seeing your dad again. Oh, wait a minute. That's Dee's problem? That we're leaving without our dad who's, like, really shitty and weird to us? Not that we're not taking his ghost ass with us? I mean, that's what I'd be concerned about, personally. Having to be a ghost with, like, unresolved ghost problems. And it's been, like, 50 years and someone finally comes to the island and then they're like, Well, I'm just gonna leave. I was stuck in ads, so... 
<laughs> I missed basically all that, so I'll either have to talk to you later. Yeah, I was just talking about comedy stuff. It's fine. Um, I mentioned we can talk later because I mentioned the a, a certain sequence in the Shorzy season two finale that I didn't enjoy. I think we might have talked about that already, though. Okay, we're gonna make progress. Watch. Well, I just. I mean, he... I really can't believe we're being shamed for not wanting to interact with our father who gave us the weirdest vibes of all time. You told Jessica you'd find him. Our father, who I as the player know full well is not our father. That you'd give him a chance. You know, real talk, this is a, a pretty accurate experience of what it is like to have a parent that you don't want anything to do with and then all the people around you being like, Yeah, but come on. They're, they're, they can't really be that bad. They're your parent. You should give them a chance. Like, I haven't already given them years of chances f for my entire lifetime. I mean, Ashley hasn't... You know what I mean? Who can relate? Who's got feels? This, no wonder that people fucking, I wish I'd played this game when I was a teenager. I would have had lots of feelings about this. I didn't get as into Shorzy at all. I liked Shorzy really up until that point. I was actually saying part of it is like, um, I stopped watching Letterkenny at a certain point and was just watching. Excuse me, and was just watching Shorzy. But there's something about, I don't know, I like the the character interactions, I like the different setting. There's a lot I like about it. I used to like hockey when I was younger, so it just like reminds me of that, and then I try to watch hockey, and then I'm like, oh, broadcast hockey is fucking not fun to watch. <laughs> the Andy, hmm. Okay, so we've got, who guessed, someone said, I should, I should keep a list of the names we're guessing D stands for. Did some, I didn't delete anything. Why can't I go back through chat? Derek, okay, Baronade said Derek with a C, and then we've got Franny guessing and D. It's not that easy, D. I'm... I'm scared. That doesn't get old. I'm scared to meet him, to talk to him about mom. Oh yeah, so reminder, our mom got fucking murdered. It'll be okay. Even also, the... facing the truth can be hard, in the end, it's always for the best. It's easy for you to say your dad's dead. And so are you. Letter Kenny is based on a town very much like my own, so I got the relatable thing going. Yeah, I get that. And like... Yeah, I think the idea of having like a... Small local... Sports or anything, you know, I was really engaged with like... Not, not so much hockey, because our hockey team was really fresh actually. But just like being really, really engaged with like local sports. I think I relate to that more than small town but like it's not just relatability like there's i i like letter kenny there's the when i think about the stuff i liked about letter kenny it's a lot of stuff from early on it's like you know the humor with the dgens and like this this the idea of like different segmented communities coexisting in a small town and there's something about so i i had mentioned it's always sunny and i think the reason i think about that too is like it's always sunny had a similar thing where like at a certain point, I think it doesn't matter how long you're going, you hit a point where you're not, I, f I feel, you're no longer believably scrappy. And that's why um, Rob Rob McElhenney gained a lot of weight that once, um, I know we're talking about weight, but like he did this purposefully, um, he gained a lot of weight one season of It's Always Sunny because he didn't like how in sitcoms people would always get more good looking and stuff like traditionally good looking over time and have like plot and the actors would have plastic surgeries and all this stuff so he made a choice to be less conventionally good looking and like hollywood um and gained a lot of weight very quickly 
and like his whole his whole character arc that season was like Max like living an unhealthy lifestyle. It wasn't like Mac is fat. It was so much like Mac is living an unhealthy lifestyle and like thinks that he's like bulking up and like, you know, getting really muscular. Um but then even then, my point in saying that is like you watch It's Always Sunny Now and Glenn Howardin's had work done. Rob McElhenney, his body is is jacked, and that wasn't just a one season bit. He's he's kept his looks looking like that. Danny DeVito is really the only one in that show who is believably haggard at this point. And yeah, the HD, um, well, not just the HD, but I definitely think the lighting, the sets, has Charlie. If Charlie Day's had work done, it's been very uh, tasteful and subtle. Charlie Day kind of looks the same to me. Um. But Letter Kenny is like, you know, I feel like the actress who plays um, Katie has had work done. But like, it's less so that. It's less so about their looks and more so like, I feel like it has that same, it starts to develop that same like, glossiness. And once you're, once you're glossy, you're no longer gritty, right? Like, that's the easiest way to say it. And then Shorzy has the kind of thing where like, well, it takes place in a city... They live in a a decent apartment. All the settings in Shorzy aren't necessarily supposed to be, like, grimy or anything. Not grimy, but, like, you know what I'm trying to say? There's there's no assumption at all of, like, ruralness or anything in Shorzy. So it's fine for it to have nice lighting. It's fine, you know, color correction, all that. And then the characters and the character interactions are what create this sense of, like, edginess. Okay, and you said that you'd probably actually really like the final season for that reason. They come full circle in a lot of ways. Cool. That's, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's good. Because, and it's hard to go back. So if they're, if they're able to successfully do that, I admire that. Because that's something too about shows. Like, once you start building to a certain point, it's hard to go from like, you're in season 12. It's hard to go back to how things were in season one and two. Like the Simpsons, they had that one episode where they revisited past episodes but they couldn't do that all the time because they're in season fucking 35 or whatever. It would be really weird if all of a sudden the show reverted to the animation style and the writing style and the voice acting style of season eight. Even if you think season eight is way better than season 35, it would be weird if season 36 was all of a sudden aesthetically and tonally something that's like 20 years old. Charlie Day still looks the same, cute little rat killer. Charlie Day is a, a a handsome little feller. We've had D's fucking transparent floating face on the screen the whole time. Let's see what he has to say next. Even though facing the truth can be hard, in the end it's always for the best. I don't know if this bore out to be true in his short lifetime. Remember we're talking to a teenage ghost here. Oh, and then she's just like, okay, I agree with you. I'll... I highly doubt the D stands for dick skin, but there's another one for the roster. I like her her wrist black wristband. Um, t- like, kids watch. There's no other, like, plastic digital watch combo with the white belt. Even though they changed her character design, it still feels very mid 2000s in a way I can appreciate. The the ba- like the three quarter sleeve hoodie, I love it. Oh, cutscene time. The D stands for fucking dick skin. Is that our dad? For real, dad? Uh oh. So I've, that? I've only played um, Hotel Dusk before, and the, the, like, a thing happened. The sounds in this game are very similar to the ones in Hotel Dusk. Excuse me. They were made by the same company. It came from the other side of the door. I would love if they remade Hotel Dusk next. There was a reference to Hotel Dusk in this game. Is someone in there? If, if anybody's played Hotel Dusk, they made it official that the Hotel Dusk stories are fiction within the Another Code world. They're like a fictional detective story. It's metafiction. 
Okay, so someone's in that room, so we have to investigate. But first... Huh? This is a... I feel like they've taken these art assets right from the DS version. Like, the art style looks so different than the 3D game that we're playing. Wait, I, I skipped that. Whoops. This is a picture of mom, dad, and someone else. Jessica, Richard, and Sayoko. And then the other guy. So... The guy with his arms crossed is the guy we met before who claimed to be our dad. So that's got to be... Yeah. So that says Richard, but that's not really Richard. That's the guy who is claiming to be our dad. Let's catch up on the story real quick. 45 minutes into the stream. We needed both Sprout keys to unlock Lawrence's room. The keys to Henry's and Thomas's rooms. Oh, okay. So... There's a whole, like, family murder plot from 50 years ago that we're also solving. So Lawrence is Dee's grandfather, and Thomas is Dee's father, and Henry is Thomas's uncle who murdered Thomas. Hello, M. How are you? Give you a shout out. How are you on this fine Sunday? Ooh, how's Saints Row 4 going? How are you liking that? Is it your first time playing it? Okay, I'm going to read this real quick, and then we'll go back to chat. Currently getting your hair done. I don't know if you're in the Marsh Discord, but you can feel free to join and post your hair when it's done if you'd like. You don't have to, no pressure, but it's open to you. Let me read this. We needed both Sprout Keys to unlock Lawrence's room. This is stuff that happened just last chapter. Lawrence must have hoped that the two, Henry and Thomas, would always be close to one another. Maybe he was trying to make up for how he wasn't able to connect with Leonard. Oh, okay, Leonard is Dee's grandfather. Lawrence is Dee's great-grandfather. So Leonard was Henry and Thomas's father. There was a hidden door under the desk in Lawrence's room that led to a room on the first floor. And in that hidden room, there were stairs that led even further down. This is all stuff we did last stream. I've solved lots of puzzles up to now, and now I'm getting kind of excited. Somewhere along the way, working with Dee to come up with all these solutions has become really fun. But it does make me wonder what could possibly motivate someone to make so many puzzles. So on YouTube, I'm uploading the old playthroughs of the, like, the old videos that I've been doing of this game. So if you want to catch up, you can check out the YouTube. It's so good. Saints Row. Is it your first time playing? I love Saints Row 4. It's probably my favorite one. I've played two. I haven't played much of three. Between two and four, four is my favorite one. I also haven't played the rebooted one. My, my PS Plus subscription ended, so now I don't have a way to play it. I sure hope Jessica's okay. Jessica's our aunt, our father's sister. When I found her, she was more worried about Dad than herself. I don't know why. He only thinks about his research and doesn't give his family a second thought. Again, this is the man pretending to be our father we're basing this impression off of. Anyway, I barely know Dad, so it's hard for me to say to do what Jessica says and believe in him. But I'll do what she wants and try to find him. Then we can have a good conversation and then save Jessica together. So here's Richard, the man claiming to be our father. I made it to the other side of the door that I thought Dad must have gone through, but he wasn't there. I did find a hidden staircase that leads even further underground, though. I bet Dad is down there somewhere. I don't know what I'll find, and I'm a bit scared, but I can't let that stop me. I've got to find Dad and rescue Jessica, and I still have D with me. So I'm sure I'll be okay. It's always good to have D with you. D. In Lawrence's room, D remembered coming to see his great-grandfather when he saw the painting of the three Edward men. Thomas was crying as Lawrence held his hand. This place has a lot of memories for Dee, even if they're not all happy ones. When Lawrence got sick, Thomas came back to the island with Dee and was murdered in the Silver Bird Room by his one and only brother, Henry. Is that, are we, is there going to be a third brother? I can't imagine how Thomas felt. Was it shock? Sadness? He probably didn't feel anything because he was fucking killed, buddy. Oh... Maybe the worst part was knowing that D would be all alone once he was gone. I feel like if I was shot, the way that I would feel would be, oh shit, and then I would be dead. Just not to be insensitive, but... The Silver Bird Room is where Thomas died after Henry shot him. The room was sealed up and no one has been there since. Oh yeah, we found the blood stain on the floor and everything. Did they just not want to go in there anymore? Maybe they didn't want anyone to touch it again? I guess I'll never know. I'll also never know why one member of a family would kill another. It seems like the brothers got along really well. So what went wrong? 
Is it gonna be revealed that this bad guy is Richard's brother? Oh no. Thomas and Henry's father, Leonard. Wells wrote in his journal that Leonard died of an illness. He must have felt terrible leaving his kids orphaned when they were so little. Wells also mentioned that they finally learned of his whereabouts. So I guess Leonard left the island at some point and didn't tell them where he was going. I don't know what happened with Leonard, but it seems like Lawrence took his sons in and raised them well. So I'm glad for that. Lawrence's room was decorated with lots of portraits. In the one with him and the grown-up Henry and Thomas, he still had the same grouchy look he had in the one from the foyer, but I bet that was just an act. I think he was super happy to be there with his two favorite people in the whole wide world. I bet he loved looking at those portraits of the people he loved so much. Oh, well, thank you for joining the Discord. I appreciate it. Oh! I just lost my... My chat doc. Well, I hope your hair appointment is going well. Okay, we just caught up with all the plot, so don't ask me to summarize it. Let me check my map. We're in the lab storage area. What are all these machines for? Time to find out. There's also secret backstory journals that we have to find. I want to make sure I don't miss any. Oh, there's one in this room. Okay. What's this? What is this thing? It looks like a sci-fi gadget that someone's still working on. Oh, there it is. Uh... How do I turn on the camera? There we go. The second bleach process? Oh, are you getting it colored? My four philosophies. There's a lot of reading in this game. Not as many chances to do voices. I guess I could do voices while I'm reading this stuff, but that's okay. There were many researchers like Sayoko and Bill! His name is Bill! <laughs> oh my goodness, we found out his name! What's his name? What's his name? Bill! Like the guy from Pokemon. Okay. There were many researchers like Sayoko and Bill at the lab where I used to work. This is our dad's journal, by the way. So Bill is the guy pretending to be our dad, whose name is Richard. Whenever I hit a roadblock in my research or had trouble clarifying some hypothesis, I'd ask a fellow researcher for help or engage in superfluous conversations. This would often knock something in my brain loose to help set me back on track. But that's not so easy in my current research environment. So I wrote down the four philosophies I used to talk about with Sayoko. Sayoko is his wife. My wife. Who is now dead. Um, and our mother, Ashley's mother. That's not too easy in my current research environment. So I wrote down the four philosophies I used to talk about with Sayoko. And I've taken to repeating them when I need help. Don't get stuck on a single thought. Continue to develop new hypotheses. Try to... Try to refute my own hypotheses from different perspectives. Never assume something is impossible. A 1% chance of success is still a chance of success. Never lose that never give up attitude. I feel like three and four are the same thing. Whenever I get stuck, I repeat these four philosophies to myself. They represent the passion Sayoko and I both had for research. Hmm. Richard was a wife guy. This guy couldn't have killed his wife. What's this? Is this box full of science stuff? Oh, wait, that I don't want to go in there. Oh, shit. I don't want to go in there yet. Fuck. No, I don't want to go in there. No. Shit. Someone's in there. That's our real daddy. Hello? Are you there? All right. I'm I'm not saying this in character. I'm Please saying this I'm me. saying this as myself, not as character. Hello, daddy. If I could just hear your voice. Now there is no way he knows what our voice sounds like. Hmm. Now I'm back to being Ashley. Are you Are you my The last time that our father was in cot was like near us was when we were three years old. There is no way that he knows what Ashley's voice sounds like. 
Ashley, is it you? But that's fine. It's this is the way that the game reveals that this is actually Ashley's father. Say something. Who is that? Who are you? I like the facial expressions in this game. How do you know my name? It is you. I knew it. Ashley, it really is you. The mystery revealed. I asked you a question. Who are you? Now, see, if this game was... Well, never mind. <laughs> my name is... Richard Robbins! Richard. I knew our father wasn't our father. This is our father. I'm Richard Robbins. I'm your father. Oh, the good sound editing. I'm your father. I, I miss you so much. Oh, and of course Ashley's confused. She doesn't know what to believe. Please, I, I just want to hear your voice again. Oh. Uh. Now the question remains, why would our father invite us to Murder Island? Oh, maybe he didn't invite us after all. But then why would... Jessi is Jessica working with Sam? What are you thinking? No, Bill. Where do I keep getting Sam from? Who the fuck is Sam? Uh. I just need to figure out what's really going on. So I'm going to open this door. Let's go, let's go. Except we're not going to open the door. We're going to keep investigating the room. A machine with exposed innards has been left out. I want this lab coat. Mm -hmm. Did dad write this? I can't really make sense of it. This blackboard is covered with technical terms and diagrams that weren't completely erased. Sam Rockwell, quite possibly. Sam Rockwell should play our sexy daddy in this game. <laughs> I need to stop blurring those lines. I'm saying he's sexy daddy, me. <laughs> Let's look at daddy's rack. So many files. Are they all part of the same research? There are blueprints, scientific papers, and other files stored here. Is this dad's locker? Maybe I'll take a peek inside. No, I shouldn't. Lockers are private. What? Lockers are private? We've been like... <laughs> whatever. This is... This is addressed to Richard Robbins. It's for dad. That would have been a better reveal before we talked to him. The label says precision instrument. I wonder what's in there. A trombone? A wooden box addressed to Richard and containing a precision instrument. So let's see. Daddy's in this room. So what happens if we try to go somewhere else? Huh? This door isn't responding. The metal door is closed. Mm. Is this an automatic door? I wonder how we can open it. Okay. I guess we should go bust daddy out. Is this a newspaper? Yeah, let's go bust daddy out. Dad question mark. There's a metal door. I don't see a way to open it. Damn. <sighs> nope. No good. Hmm. Hey, why won't this door open? Hey. Hey. Oh, um. Why does his mouth look like that, though? Ugh. Eh. 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 Hey. It's an automatic door. It's an automatic door. I had figured that much out, but thanks. Oh, man. Because of our fake dad, now Ashley's not going to like real dad. I can't figure out how to open it. Is it locked? All right, Dad. Thanks for fucking mansplaining the door to me, but I need help. Not exactly. What do you mean? The door isn't receiving any power. Oh, Majesty snoozing. Snoozy. Hmm. The door isn't receiving any power, so we have to divert power to the door. I'm telling you the truth. It can't open like this. I'm telling you the truth. Um... Yeah, <laughs> Ashley has got to have a lot of questions for Dad. Ashley, please trust me. Why? <sighs> oh boy. I'll explain once we get the door open. No, see that's no, 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 
No. No. We need to restore. Okay, fine. I get it. You need me to restore power to the door. Man, and now so this guy's gonna be like, when my daughter turns into such a brat. I'll at least give it a try. But it's not Ashley's fault. Thank you, Ashley. It's Bill's fault. All right, let's divert power to the door. Now we can check the box. I couldn't check this before. Where's the power coming from? Maybe. Maybe this? Oh. Uh, why don't you open it to check? I'll explain when I get what I want. Typical dad. There's a cover on the inside. It's attached with a screw. I won't be able to open it yet, I guess. Have we not found a screwdriver? Shit, really? Oh no. We don't have a screwdriver in inventory. No way. Really? Cover's locked with a screw. Hmm? Looks like all sorts of devices are connected. Man, okay, I guess we have to go fucking find a screwdriver. It Could it be in the desk? The desk is cluttered with all sorts of things, including a screwdriver How in a mug. How convenient. Let's look mm -hmm. at this book. There's nothing here. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here. We already looked at that photograph and it made us laugh. Was someone drinking this? Ew! You did not stir your coffee with a fucking screwdriver, bud. That's disgusting. Huh. What is that in the cup? Uh, what? It's, um, a screwdriver? I can't believe it. <laughs> For real! Ugh! He couldn't find something else to stir his coffee with? Got Phillips head screwdriver. Now, this better be the right fucking head. Damn. All right, never be bored with the switchboard. The cover is locked on with a screw. Uh, a screwdriver with a plus shaped tip. It was found in a coffee cup. Kind of gross. All right. I should be able to open it with this. Oh, I wanted to like, aw. Come on, I wanted to Wii minigame. What the fuck, a USB yes. stick? All right, I got the cover open. Ashley. Look, there's something in it. An object with a key on it sits inside the cover. <gasps> oh. What's this? Got an orange security key. What is this, Resident Evil? Wait a minute, I'm not, we're not done yet. I gotta mm. do this puzzle. Is this the control panel? I don't wanna ask any, I don't wanna mess anything up. I should ask that person for help. That person, wow, she really doesn't think that's daddy. Okay. I mean, who can blame her? Okay, so... Let's auto this. Did you get it open? Yeah. I also, Good. so... Oops. Um. Way to go. So one thing I really like is that the way... I've really always liked the, the panel framing that they do in these scenes. And I like the way they use this one to illustrate that um, Richard and Ashley have like a height difference. So even though it could be framed as like them talking face to face, instead it shows Richard, you know, so tall that his head is out of frame. Meanwhile, not only is Ashley short enough to fit in frame, but there also is like, you know, extra headroom above her to really illustrate their height difference. That's great. I love that. Now you've just got to figure out the switches. I'm always saying Some this. Some of them may be locked. <laughs> Sorry, I had to open a window. You'll need keys to release them. Why is he not wearing a clown nose? Because this isn't Sam Rockwell. This is Daddy. This is Dick Daddy. His name actually is Richard, so. This is, oh, this is Dick Skin. Of course. Also, I didn't finish my my charity thing. I will have to finish that um, before Monday's stream. I mean, we could just keep it running. It's still active. We could still get to 100. I'm gonna match the 82 or whatever the final number is myself. I like just looked over and realized it's still there. More keys. I've been away. I don't have time to do my Twitch stuff, okay? I, I hung out and relaxed yesterday. 
Oh, he yes. said we'll need keys, keys to release the locks? Like the orange one that was behind the cover? Oh, jeez. Just one? The rest must have been moved. I'm not a fan of this. Well, that's a security key, all right, but... Hello, Tia! How's being above ground? How's your art going? Yeah. How you doing? How was your week? You need two more. There are three in total, and each one is a different color. I'm looking for keys. It really is like Got Resident it. Evil. Around for them. Oh boy. Gameplay, look at that. If you like doing gameplay, let me hear you say gameplay. What's this? Huh? The door isn't responding. Okay. Is going and Tommy is not thrilled with me. Did you uh, did you overindulge? I had a lot of good food um, for Valentine's Day when I was downtown with my sweetie. With my honey baby. Um, oh, just not thrilled with you. Damn. Yeah, I have acid reflux, so I take Omeprazole every day and I keep Tums no, on uh... the... This isn't the time to head back to the mansion. Okay, so the keys are here? Now, hold on. So... Hmm? I also, um, I think it was when I had the flu, my stomach hurt a lot, and I actually got to the point where I got Pepto-Bismol, which I almost never use, but I ended up not using it, <laughs> which was nice to not have to. I know there's a lot of sick sickness stuff going around. Obviously, there's still COVID, um, there's the flu, there's other, there's like RSV, which I don't know the difference between RSV and the flu. So I know that Franny was sick and, and you know, had the peeling eye syndrome. So I hope everyone's staying well out there to the best of your abilities. Operate the panels to connect the circuits with A. You can unlock the panels with security keys. Mm. Are these slots for the security keys? One of the security keys needed to operate the switchboard. Let's investigate. Oh, stretch time. I've actually been thinking of revising the stretch redeem. Okay. I don't know what this means, but we'll put it in. Let's take a little stretch break. Let's reward the people with a nice little Mars stretch. Uh, I'm stretch. Stomach acid is ri rise against taking meds because I think what a oh yeah. Taking medication at the right time every day is very important. I'm grunting like fucking Donkey Kong. Okay, now, how low can Marsh go? Oh, if I go too low in these pants, I'll rip them. Wouldn't be Larry. What are some other... The finale. Not sure how much you got to see, but that's why I'm thinking about revising the stretch break. I can charge more to show more. You know what I mean? The placement of that mic when you stretched backwards was sus. I didn't do that on purpose, I promise, but I'll take it. How are you doing, Belle? I don't think I have any mods in chat, so I will shout out unnecessary commentary. You know, it's good that you're alive and with us. How was Marncormpt? I don't know what this is. Do, are, do we move the panels? What do we do? What are we doing here? That's defo not bell. Ugh, you're right. Ah. The wires change when I press the switch. <sighs> oh dear. Okay. Huh. 
Huh. Hmm. Hmm. gonna be so bad at this puzzle I would have be so bad at it <laughs> I feel like something is broken here I appreciate the lurk though um what happens if I put it in here? The stuff changed. Not the screwdriver. Oh, and you can put them in different slots. Oh, it's so confusing. Okay, hold on. Uh, so there's... There's not only multiple keys... Oh, I get it. The prongs go. I get it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm smarter than you. Because look, there's these prongs, right? And they go up to four. And so there's the two outside prongs here. And that's why this has the same thing. So you put it in here. That's, that's where it's supposed to actually go. Yippee. I'm not stupid. I'm smarter than you. There we go. Now I just have to find the other keys. That USB loves metal. Fuck yeah. So, oh, it actually, wow. It's actually reflecting what I set it to. I wonder how much work that takes to, let's look in the desk. The desk is cluttered with all sorts of things. Um, hey dad, where do I find these keys? I don't have all three security keys yet. Do you remember where you last saw them? Let me think. On the shelf with the glass door. And maybe near the blackboard? Okay, I'll check there. Oh great, that actually... <laughs> I wasn't sure if that would be helpful. Near the blackboard? Aha! Why would you keep that there, Dad, you fucking weirdo? Oh, hi, Bailey. Hi-ho. And so good to see you. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? How's the messenger? Hmm, he said the glass shelf. Those are over here. Nice rack. I told you we should be checking out Dad's rack. Oh, look at that. I'm so sleepy today. Hard to move around. I feel that. It was hard for me to get out of bed. But I made it, and here I am. I appreciate seeing you. Uh, not, not ASMR yet. That's a different redeem, pal. I love meeting up with friends in the chat. We're gonna solve a puzzle. Yay! Do I just need to press the switch and connect the lines? No. Let's look. The green one. Oh, it's... it's what's that? That's, um... That's this. I mean... I don't have four fingers. I think this is the right one. Yay! And then... The blue one is this. One finger technique. And you would have to ask Miss Piggy about that one. Oh. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you very much. I've got a frog in my throat. Yo, listen up. Here's a story. 
Uh... No, why is this fucked up? This shouldn't be fucked up. Why is this fucked up? I did it right. Why is it fucked up? But get it together. Hello, Tia. Hello, Bailey. Hello, Franny. It's so good to see all of you. I did do. Oh, Franny, I missed. I missed that you did the ASMR redeem. My mistake. I forgot to do the Kermit ASMR because I missed that you did the ASMR redeem. I have to make sure that you get your redemption's worth. To relax here, we're going to go into my bog and play my relaxing banjo sounds. Is that, is that giving you relaxation? Do you feel relaxed hearing all of the spit in my mouth? Okay. Now the power should be back. <laughs> is that enough Kermit ASMR for you, Franny? Is that 2,000 points worth? Close your eyes and envision a swamp. Are you envisioning it in your mind's eye? Oh god, daddy! <laughs> oh, daddy! Oh, banana! Oh, yeah. Hello, daddy. Uh. You. You're. Now, reminder in character, he is actually her daddy. So. That's me saying that. Ashley. You've grown so much. Now, see, don't let that be the first thing you said. But in context, okay, the last time he saw Ashley was on her third birthday. Also when her mother, his wife. Hey. No. Nope, my wife. Got murdered. But your eyes. Oh, yeah, she's got those, those smoky gray eyes. Which are not like his eyes at all. They're the same. Well, yeah, they would be the same. She didn't have a eye implant surgery. Those pink squiggles on your face. You've had those ever since you were a baby. They haven't changed a bit. They're just as they were 11 years ago. Again, that is how bi- I thought you were a scientist. That's how biology works. Yes, they're the same eyes. This is the man who would come to the graveyard once in a while. Oh, he lived on this island all along? Huh? 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 Now it's time for me to leave you again. Yeah, who was that weird guy who pretended to be my dad and hugged me? Ashley. She doesn't know what to believe. I like his sweater. His, his cardigan, I guess? No. Oh. She literally watched her mom get murdered. Oh, she remembers. She remembers his face. Yeah, daddy looks the same somehow. Uh, Adults don't dad. age. Oh, that was a good cutscene transition. I remember. Oh, yay. You're my dad. Oh, yay. The first time I've seen him in 11 years and all I can think is that he smells like chocolate. Why does he smell like chocolate? I'm glad I trusted Jessica and went looking for dad. Oh, she just calls him dad. This is so sad. She hasn't Jessica seen him told me since she was a little baby. She told me to believe in him. <laughs> to Wait, hear what? Him out. What the fuck? Oh no. What do you hope to accomplish? Did he actually murder our mom? No way. No. 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 No, 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 I need a minute. No, 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 no. This whole time, I was like, well, it must have been Bill who killed our mom and then framed our dad. I don't want daddy to kill mommy. 
Oh no. This isn't Starfield. Oh no. What's wrong? Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this plot. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just remembering how I killed your mother, my wife. My wife. Hey, uh, Dad. I met someone here while looking for Jessica. You didn't meet someone. You met a g g g g g g ghost. Kibby? Oh. The baby. Yes. The baby's here. Someone pretending to be you. He told me he's my dad. Majesty emote. Could that have been... I need majesty and toppy emotes. Bill. Bill! Why would he pretend to be you? Why would he lie about that? So Bill is this guy who used to be daddy's research assistant who is, I guess, off the deep end. But why... I need to know about why daddy thinks he killed mommy. It better not be that ghost I keep seeing. Come on, answer me. Wait, did they just like brush? Oh, some she met someone else. She meant Bill, not the ghost. I'm sorry, Ashley. Sorry for what? Oh, don't you pull out a gun. What if he pulls out a gun? You aren't mad at me, are you? Are you mad because I believe that Bill was you? Oh my god, this girl is so insecure, I feel so bad. It's like, all it's the night of her 15th birthday, the eve of her 15th birthday, and she's just like, everyone she sees, she's like, um, are you mad at me? <laughs> For like, really unreasonable stuff, which is so fucking realistic and teenage, it hurts. It's like, oh, a guy made me feel really weird vibes, is he mad at me? Oh, my aunt is trying to force me to interact with my, like, dad who I really don't like and I'm unsure about. Is she mad at me? Oh, I thought my dad was someone else because I don't remember what my dad looks like for 13 years. Are you, is my dad mad at me for that? <laughs> like, shit. I feel so bad for this poor girl. Welcome back, Em. So I walked in and just started blessed. <laughs> the Richard Robbins story. That's why, so, our mom is Japanese and our dad is American. That's why he's always blasting. I'm so sorry. Because I helped him look for the another keys? Oh, no. That's actually bad, isn't it? Bill was after the keys? That's probably bad. Five hours? Damn. Yeah. He asked me to help him. That's not good. I used the DAS to track them well, all down. Well, sorry. <laughs> is five hours good? I don't know. I, I've been watching the Scott Pilgrim anime, and she does her hair in, like, you know, two minutes. Because <laughs> it's a cartoon, get it? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's been using the Funtendo DAS. Wait, Ashley, did you? Oh, no. This poor girl! I gave them to Bill. Oh, no, bad things are about to happen. This computer in the background is, has like a Windows 98 interface. I love that. Just for blue. Oh, you're getting blue? Yo, listen up. Here's a story about M's new hair. I solved this piano puzzle and found a key. <laughs> Dad, I went in the mansion and found all these fun video game puzzles. And I solved all the fun video game puzzles. And I thought I was going to get, you know, a little... So I gave them to him because I wanted that reward jingle a lot. And then I ran into Bill who told me he was you. I showed him the DAS and he... I love that she calls it the DAS and not the fucking DAS. He had you look for the keys. Yeah. Do you know where he is right now? This guy is not a very good voice actor. I'm so sorry to this man. He said something about booting up another, but... Oh man, poor Ashley, she's like about to cry. He has the keys and he's heading for another? So another, just for context, another is some mysterious machine that we don't have an understanding of because we're 14 years old that somehow impacts people's memories. Um, I'm only getting the ends done, but the ends have gone proper yellow orange, so we've had to bleach it a lot. Oh, okay. So you're trying to like bleach the whole thing to get the blue. I get it. That'll look cool when it's done though. Did you say DAS? I was playing Pokemon Heart Gold. 
Actually, when Trace Memory, this this is 2005, so he wouldn't have even been playing Diamond and Pearl. He would have had a save file on fucking Pokemon Emerald. I went to all the islands and everything. What's your plan? I even got Deoxys. Bill. He wants my Jirachi. He was always jealous of my Jirachi. I knew it. I had to buy a separate copy of Pokemon Coliseum and the Game Boy Advance Link Cable just to get Jirachi. I'm not gonna let him take that away from me. I've gotta go after him. I've gotta go after him. And your mother, she sold all my Pokemon cards. That's why I had to kill her. Fuck, I'm so sorry. So this is 2005. So actually, first of all, she, I would have been about her age in 2005. So if this is 2005 and it's her 15th birthday, that means she was born in 1990. So actually, Mizu uh, Ashley's older than me. Um, but also that means that her mom was murdered in 1993. Wait, where are you going? So it, really, she would have sold his Pogs collection. Ashley, wait here, please. Everybody's always abandoning her. This poor girl. Beep, 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 boop, boop, beep. I'll protect another from Bill. Uh, okay. Um... This is Dad's room, so I should just wait here. Right? Yeah, Ashley. Watch it. Watch it be like Undertale. We'll just stand still for five minutes and start getting phone calls. She might... No, Franny. <laughs> this one. I was saying boo. That's one for you, Franny. Never, ever, ever blame a teenage girl for being abandoned by every adult behind, uh, every adult around her. If you like smoking weed, let me hear you say hell yeah. Yeah, now I know to never play the full gotcha. version of that song. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Pot is ruining America. She sold that dash? She didn't sell the dash. It's still in her back pocket. Look. See? Dat das. Okay, let's examine this room here now. Das <laughs> fuck you. I was saying balloons. Okay, we're not in the not in the final room yet. Okay. Locker. This is Dad's locker. Uh -huh. I wonder what's in there. No, I'm not gonna go through his stuff yeah. without permission. Even family has to respect privacy. Hmm. Oh, a teddy bear. Huh. Oh, this teddy bear's so cute. Oh, it has a card. Ashley. I bet it's a present for you from your dad. Hmm, yeah. You bet, why don't you just look at the card? An acrylic box containing a teddy bear is wrapped up with a ribbon. And that must be the ribbon that was used to wrap it up, okay? Um, I guess there's a blackboard so you can take notes anytime. Some people are just really into their research and don't want to stop. Did Dad go to bed still thinking about work? Let's see what else. I'm avoiding the desk for now. There's also a top secret file on that bed. This mattress is really hard. Does Dad mm. actually sleep on this? Does he ache all the time? That really does look like a fucking uncomfortable bed. This is worse than a college. Like, like this is literally worse than my freshman dorm room. Okay, see, told you, fucking. And it even that's so funny the way that like the LCD screen is like, actually how it would look if you pointed a camera at it. So it really makes it feel like this game is being played through a camera. That's so interesting. Oh, and because he's been on the island a long time, his out his operating system is out of date. Okay. There's a picture frame on the desk. It's a picture of Richard, Sayoko, and a baby. This is. These are my parents, so this baby must be. It's you, right? <laughs> Your dad must have looked at this picture all the time. Uh, yeah. Guess so. Aww. Today is February 24th, 2005. <gasps> Today's February 24th. Oh, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Tomorrow's my birthday. How could you forget? I don't know. I'm very precious about my birthday. Darn it. What a crazy day. <laughs> to say the fucking least. All right, let's hack our dad's computer. Pro hacker. It was already left open. 
there's a document icon on the monitor. Date, blank, Sayoko, at least, at last. Fuck it. Sayoko, at last, our another is complete after 11 years. Right now, I'm remembering your words, Sayoko. If the memories that cause suffering were to disappear, your guiding principle was to use our memory controlling technology to alleviate suffering. And that's why I'm sure you'd forgive me, Sayoko, for using another to erase Ashley's memories of what happened that night. Wow, we totally didn't know that Ashley had her memories erased. Date blank. I sent a letter. Okay, confirmed. Our father is the one who invited us to Murder Island. I sent a letter and the DAS to Ashley. I pray from the bottom of my heart that she'll come to this island. I need to speak with Bill one more time before I'm reunited with her. I'm certain Bill will understand what Sayoko and I desired for another. Dad. This is Dad's diary. Looking in his locker is wrong, but reading his diary is a-okay. All right, and the top secret file. There are a few pages clipped together. Research into another. It's Dad's thesis. Research into another. Revised edition? Research into another. Revised edition. Richard Robbins. Even though it also says Sayoko Robbins on the cover. Fucking even in... Wow, actually that's really shitty of him to erase his dead wife from his research. Adding addenda below regarding the memory control experiments that are now possible with the completion of the device implementing the another theory. 1. Memory extraction. This really is some eternal sunshine shit. Anybody ever see that movie? 1. Memory extraction. The experiment to extract a test subject's memory data and temporarily store it within another was successful. 2. Memory replacement. The experiment of temporarily losing memories that are already present and overwriting them with different memories was successful. However, the use of this feature sometimes results in the subject suffering painful headaches, as well as hallucinations due to the muddying of their memories. Hmm. So is that what Richard was experiencing with the gun? He was remembering Bill's memories? 3. Memory Restoration Currently implementing the feature to restore memories that have been temporarily lost back to their original state with a focus on safety. <sighs> Okay, so I know all of these words, but this makes no sense to me. <laughs> Fucking literally just. Huh? Huh? Head empty, no thoughts. Dad. Dad still isn't back. And the longer he's gone, the more worried I get. I can't just wait around any longer. I've got to find him. Let's go. Beep boop. I'm my brain is also lit. What the fuck? Oh no. Mmm. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it's fine. We're still not in the room. Alright, Dad. Uh, I'm sure everything's fine, but what's, uh, what's happening? Dad, wait! I'm coming with you! Huh? No! Ashley, you can't! Ashley... Even though I've been standing here just pressing buttons for Where five minutes. Going? He looks like You'll Apollo see. Justice. Come on. You'll see? Come on. Um... No, he just goes ahead and says, okay, sure. He does not look like Sam Rockwell. We're just, you just think that because we watched that movie trailer Is earlier. This... Are we about to see another? Oh, shit. It's an it's Apple another. chair. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It looks like the sharper image. Catch you later, What's M. That? When are you streaming next? I want to. Are you gonna keep playing Saints Row? Shout you out one more time. It's another's control panel. This thing is so peak mid two thousands futuristic technology. It literally just looks like a fucking iPod. Monday. Nice. I'll try to catch you. If I'm not streaming at the same time, I'll try to catch you. It's good to see you. 
Enjoy the rest of your hair appointment. I hope it turns out great. There are the keys. So that means Bill's already been in here. Bill's starting it up. Hmm. But then where is Bill? Majesty's asleep, by the way. There she is. Majesty. Sleepy baby. So that's his plan. Hmm. What? What's going on? So, well, I'm gonna guess what Bill's plan is. Bill murdered Sayoko. Huh? Nope, wrong one. My wife! Bill murdered Sayoko, who was Richard's wife and Ashley's mom. And what he's gonna do with the another device is he's trying to swap his memories with Richard's memories, our dad, to frame Richard in some way for murdering Sayoko. And also, somehow, D is still involved. The fruits of your research are rightfully mine, Richard. Interesting. So they had an argument. Was this in the Silver Bird Room where Thomas murdered Henry? Or Henry murdered Thomas? He's transferring another's data to someone. Yeah. To who? To whom? He should say that. He should correct her grammar. Then he, this would be a believable dad. My guess? To no one good. He's sending the source code. That This doesn't make any sense. How is this wireless? And he's in a cave? What the fuck? What can we do? He's on a laptop, but he's able to control another remotely. We'll be okay. I built in some fail safes in case something like this happened. He really talks with his teeth. Hmm. It stopped. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Takes care of that. The day is saved thanks to hacking. Oh, you've really gone and done it, Richard. Oh, boy. You mean it's not over? Bill. Oh, that was cool. Why, you? I can't believe you would betray me like this, Bill. Your plan for another is entirely antithetical to its true purpose. I'm so confused. I thought we were solving a 50-year-old murder mystery. <laughs> antithetical, you say? <laughs> antithetical? I don't even know the meaning of the word. Stop this foolishness. Another's memory control was developed to help people. I think you'll find this is perfectly thetical, Richard. People with real trauma. People who suffered in accidents or in war. Okay, so they want to help people with PTSD, basically. I get it. You used to understand this. It's why you helped create it in the first place. Oh, Richard. <laughs> you naive fool. I'm going to use our memory control device to take over the world. I'm going to make George Bush forget. You know what he did. I am sick and tired of your Saint Richard holier than thou act. Is Richard a, a biblical name? Bill. Saint Dick. You just don't grasp another's full potential. Well, grasp this, Dick. What do you mean? You've invented a revolution. This machine rewrites memories. Hmm. A revolution, Bill? Now you have my ear. Keep going. People the world over would pay hand over fist for such a thing. Okay. You lost me already when you brought capitalism into it. You fucking asshole. Another can make us both rich beyond our wildest dreams. Why would he even say that about revolution? He's like, another will bring about a revolution. The revolution of dollars in my bank account. <laughs> I'm very hungry for caviar. No, that's not what it's for. This isn't for making money. Don't you know nobody gets into research science for making money? Another is the fruit of Sayoko's research. 
And you would reduce it to a cash grab? I can't believe capitalism would do this. And so, you know exactly how she intended another to be used. And then just like Ashley being like, huh? Ashley is hawing all over this scene. What gives you the right to speak on Sayoko's behalf? Sayoko. Dad? My head. I, I was like totally zoned out for a second. I have to check something later. I like totally zoned out for a second while this was happening. Okay, so his head is starting to hurt because the another machine is being used on him. Feels like it's going to split. Oh, Jesus. Something the matter? Getting a sudden headache for some reason? Almost like that's one of the symptoms of the another machine. <laughs> Bill. Another is. It's. Ashley, you want to do My something? Dad created another. We We're not letting you have it. Yeah, you tell him. You're nothing but a liar. Yeah. Sh sh oh, they're in a different room. I was going to say. Everyone lies, Ashley. Even your dad here. Oh no, he's going to manipulate us again. This guy's surprisingly good at manipulating teenage girls. I didn't mean it like that, but he, he is. What I meant was like <laughs> this guy Bill can't isn't good at manipulating adults, so he has to manipulate teenagers. That's what I meant. You haven't lied to me, have you? Oh boy. We're about to have some plot contrivance happen. Well, of course we're gonna it's gonna turn out that like he erased her memories of her her mom being murdered, but that's a traumatic thing. That's the whole thing they created another for. What's the matter? Are you okay? Uh, let me put this on auto. There we go. Ashley, I... You're wrong. My dad wouldn't lie to me. He may have been gone most of my life, but he's no liar. All right. Such a tragic tale, Richard, don't you think? Ask your father, Ashley. <gasps> Ask him who killed your mother. Oh no, so, 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 oh man, this is fucking my brain up. Is it gonna be because Bill is fucking with Richard's memories? So now Richard is gonna think that he actually for real killed her mom even though it was actually Bill that did it? Dad, do you know who killed Mom? Because he's gonna, he's not gonna be able to remember accurately. Ashley, that. What's the matter? He needs to lie down. Yeah, he needs to lie down on that horribly uncomfortable bed. No, Ashley, you fucking dumbass. Do not. Oh Is my this god. The side Richard warned about. Ashley. Ashley, I know you're like fucking almost only 15 years old. But why why wouldn't you just go put your dad on the shitty uncomfortable bed instead of the fucking mind control machine? I did say, I did say some plot contrivance was about to happen, but I didn't think that would be the plot contrivance. My dad has to lie down. Let me put him in the mind wipe machine. I'm sure it'll be fine and nothing bad will happen. <laughs> if so, it couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, so he's us he's already using another on Richard. Bill, what did you do to my dad? You need to help him. Uh, <laughs> okay. I could help him. I could help him, but I won't. <laughs> Not on one condition. Uh, 
but you have to give me what I want. You've gotten used to these kind of arrangements, haven't you, Ashley? This is the adult world. You never get what you want until doing something for someone else first. It might not be fair, but that's life. <laughs> I brought you to this island to show you that life's not fair and people always want something from you. Use another on Richard. Oh my god, this is terrible. Don't, why would you agree to that? To do what? Memories are rushing to the surface. It's overwhelming his mind. No, no, Ashley, do not fucking fall for this, please. You can stop his pain by taking control of his memories. Don't do anything this man wants, Ashley, please, for the fucking, please, Ashley, please. I'm begging you, please. Oh, okay. Ashley! Oh. Okay. Ashley, why? No. Ashley, do literally anything else but that, please. Where are we right now? Please just, like, go somewhere else. Do something else. Leave our father in this box and don't let him out. I need to use dad. another. I'm going to save my dad. Ashley, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I need to use dad. another. I'm going to save my dad. Please don't do that. Ugh. Dad. Just wait, Dad. You'll feel better soon. I promise. Let me just double check. There's really no other option. Yeah, fucking hell. Okay, I guess we have to use another on our dad to save his life. Even though there's absolutely no evidence. This is like the end of The Last of Us. I won't say anything more than that. But like, I know people debate the end of that game and that's my argument. It's like, you have no idea that they were telling the truth or not. That's all I'm going to say about that. Because anything more would be spoilery. Oh, Ashley. Why would you do this? Nintendo DAS dual another system identifying user successfully identified user user Ashley Mizuki Robins date of birth 225 1991 oh she was born in 91 wait so it's almost her f oh she's 13 almost well done, 14 Ashley. I totally did not understand her age in this game well okay I've been saying she's almost 15 she's almost 14 well done Ashley okay I've set the DAS and started up another. I'm sure it will be fine. Access his memories from 1994. No, see, see, this is the manipulation. He's already fucked with your dad's memories. And now we're going to look at his memories and we're going to see that Richard murdered Sayoko, even though Richard didn't murder Sayoko. Bill did it. I don't like this at all. What if I just delete it? What if I just what if I just go rogue? Also, my dad is only five foot eleven, 165 pounds. I guess that's pretty standard. Age 41, pulse normal, respiration normal. Delete memory. Um, Something tells me yeah. I shouldn't press this one. Well, then why is it even an option? Oh, what's 1920? 721 p.m. Seattle suburbs. Oh, I don't like this at all. Beep boop. You can see my memories. Uh, okay, there's a teddy bear. It's a fucked up teddy bear. Whoa, what if there was a teddy bear, but it was fucked up? There's Sayoko. Sayoko's heart is beating, and now she's dying. This seems pretty inconclusive to me. And then she's got her feet out with no toes. And then in the closet. Yeah, but this is not circumstantial at all. Or, I don't know if that's the right word. Substantial. What? <laughs> huh, 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 huh. Literally just. What we saw just now? A memory of dad's from 1994? 
That's when... We already knew he was a witness, though. Ashley, Ashley. you're not thinking... <laughs> we said that at the same time. No, Ashley, listen to me, not him. Ashley, you're not thinking very straight. Try to be more logical. Even though you're really confused and don't even know who your dad really is and you're like 13 and don't know anything. That is the truth. The, the, wh what? A few pictures? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. This guy laughs like a really trustworthy guy. What's happening to my dad? You said you'd help him. Oh. He'll wake up soon. If he's lucky. Uh... That'll be all then. What do you mean if he's lucky? Wait. I'm so confused. This is not helpful. Turn off the machine, Ashley. Dad. Ashley, what'd you do? Ashley, why'd you put him there? Dad? Oh, no. Ashley, you're not very smart. What happened? Uh. Ashley, tell me what happened. I turned on the memory transfer machine. He's Bill not the brightest bulb either. Help you. He's like sitting in the another machine chair and he's like, what happened? What possibly could have happened? I needed to boot up another. Oh boy. And that I needed to... To look at your memories of the night mom died. What? Did... Did you kill mom? No. I... Ah. Oh boy. His real memories are in congruence with his fake memories. Dad? I would never hurt Sayoko. It simply isn't possible. That makes sense because she's my wife. Dad. I'm really tense right now. This is like I'm gripped by this plot. Nice butt. <laughs> the data transfer has started. It looks like another security systems were bypassed. Did he use another to? Ashley, I need you to do something. Yeah, let's prove that his memories are fake. Look at my memories again. I suspect that Bill has altered them. Yeah. What? Yeah, let's prove use it. Use another to play back my deepest memories. You should be able to do that with the DAS. Okay, but You need to incept how? me. I equipped another with a few bonus features. We're more plot contrivances, but that's okay. They're accessible only by using the DAS. I never told Bill about them. Uh-huh. They were designed to protect another from those who would use it for harm. Of course, that actually does make sense. These features in the DAS can protect another? That's right. And I only trusted one person to keep the DAS Now, what safe. does any of this have to do with D? You, Ashley. And you alone. Dad... Use that to play back my true memories in another. This is the truth. What really happened the night Sayoko died. Uh, oh, because I was going to say, why doesn't he just tell her? But it's because he can't remember fully. That's good. That's a good way to, like, show instead of telling and, like, justify it. All right. What Turn on the, the kooky memory machine again. How do I add new features? Oh boy. How do we add new features? The person who I thought was my dad was actually some awful guy who used to work with named Bill. Okay, but how do I add new features? I guess we should ask dad. Dad. How do I use it? Ashley? It's you, Ashley. You're the key. Uh, I'm the key. All another keys acquired. Um, I need dad? to use another. I'm going to save my dad. Uh, what the? I don't know. I'm the key. What does that mean? What does that mean? Do I combine it with this photo? Oh, I'm confused. 
It's me. I'm the key. Hmm. Maybe I'll look at this. The rich person locked up in the lab calls himself Richard Robbins. Wait, I mean, my dad is supposed to be that guy I met in the drawing rooms totally focused on his research. This guy claiming to be my dad out of nowhere is just too hard to believe, but when he called me by my name, the dream I keep having suddenly popped into my head. It was the same voice of the one who finds me sobbing in a closet, and he puts his hands out to me. So yeah, this man is my real dad. Okay, but... Do I use the camera? Do I take a selfie? Oh! Me! User recognized as Ashley Mizuki Robbins. Biometric data accepted. Additional feature now available for use. Wow. That actually worked. Beep boop. Restore function unlocked. All right. It worked. I unlocked the new feature. Beep, beep, beep. Revising memory to be more factual. Teddy bear. What if there was a bear? But it was still fucked up. Home. Okay, let's see. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Sayoko. Oh, no. She was already dying. Oh, no. Oh, baby. And then they used the memory machine on Ashley to make her forget. So this was traumatic for Richard, too. Maybe he made his own self forget. Because it was a traumatic memory for him, too. No, oh, poor guy. Dad? My trauma. It hurts. Dad, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yay. I... When I... When I came home, your mom was... She was already... Hmm. I know, Dad. I saw it in another. What really happened the night Mom died. Hmm. Mom was shot protecting me and another. You came home to find her like that. The last thing she said, as you held her in your arms, was to keep me safe. Oh. It's okay now, Dad. We know the truth. You didn't kill her. Yay! In case you were bamboozled into thinking Daddy killed Mommy, he really didn't. I had <sighs> faith Ashley. all along. Dad, it's okay. We are okay. Except that one moment where I didn't. My memories. They're back. I feel like I finally earned the right to hug you. I don't know why you would say it like that, but sure, bud. Dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh. Ashley. He needs it just as much as she does. Aww. I'm so glad. So glad I trusted you like Jessica asked me to. Yeah, but you thought she was asking you to trust Bill. Oh. Now we have to try to stop Bill, I guess. But now... Yeah. Bill has the research you and Mom were trying to protect. What do we do? Another could wind up in anyone's hands. This feels like the big the big plot climax, and then we go wrap everything up by fucking killing Bill with a gun or something. We're probably not going to do that. Ashley. Richard, please protect the another... Oh. Don't worry. I won't let another fall into the wrong hands. That's wild, because Ashley's like, she asked you to protect me, but then in his memory it says she asked him to protect another, which is different. Dad? Can I borrow the DAS? Oh, uh. I sure. want to play Super Mario Brothers. I love that little red guy. It's been a long time. Bill won't get away with this. I'll keep another safe. It's just as you said, Sayoko. I should have locked it away. 
That's what you get for pursuing forbidden technology and also abandoning your daughter it. for 13 years. This is what you wanted, right? Delete. Oh, shit. That seems bad. Uh. What? Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, Bill doesn't know what's happening. That seems really bad. Huh? Richard! What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What hath Richard wrought? Let's find out. It's actually good because it's time for an ad break. So let's watch the Deadpool movie trailer just like I promised. Good timing. How's everybody doing out there? Bring this up. Okay, good. The Happy official one. Birthday to oh. You. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years. There we go. For sure. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man there we alive. Go. Make a wish, buddy. Is that like what his name is in the comics? The luckiest man alive? Lee Wilson? I like the jokes in this trailer. Supposed to be scary. Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. This is, a, this is funny. I think it's funny. And it's Tom Wamsgans. Soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? That's a good joke. That's a good reading. Here, walk with me. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. Among. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. I'm the Messiah. I am. I don't know. Some people were saying that this trailer doesn't like look funny or good. And that's fair if you feel that way. I think this is the first Marvel movie I've wanted to see in a long time. He says fuck, dude. That's so cool. Yeah. Listen, I don't even give a fuck about crossovers, but Deadpool and Wolverine are a great pairing. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Because I feel like that's one of those movies where they didn't put all like the jokes and good bits in the trailer. There will be plenty to see when when the movie actually comes out. All right. Let's get back to the action. Let's find out what's going on with Bill and Daddy. All right. Could this be the epic conclusion? The miracle of the blue moon. I I don't know what that means. What's happening? Oh yeah, right. Security alert. Oh, the computer blew up. Oh, the whole another blew up. Did Daddy blow it up? I have a few tricks up my sleeve too, Bill. Wow. You destroyed another? Yes. Well, that's it. An emergency fail safe. Let's go home. But this was all we had left of Mom's work. No. It's for the best. What happened here will never happen again yeah so the message that we're getting is it's better to live with your trauma than forget i guess because you can like move past it and and everything that happened to you matters and makes you who you are as a person and also we shouldn't 
uh, use technology to toy with the natural world. Dad? Because it can be wielded for, with malicious intent. I'm going to handle this. You wait here. No, I want to go with you. Yeah, stop telling me to wait around places. I don't places. care how dangerous it is. I can't just wait here. Character development for Ashley. Ashley. This is good character development for her as a hero. Okay. You're right. Let's go together. It's your birthday after all. All right, Daddy, let's go. He is really tall. So wait a minute. If he's 5'11", how tall is Ashley? Also, why'd Dee's file get updated? The person locked in the room in the lab was Richard Robbins, my dad. I finally met my real dad. Okay, we've uh, we've experienced all this so far. So basically, but what's that? What's that? Any of this have to do with D? Why D get met, updated? Hmm. We found a hidden staircase in the room under Lawrence's room. D remembered going down those stairs when he saw them, but not why. I feel like if he could remember what happened then, he would finally be free to move on. Okay. Well, let's just read these. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll check the updated files. The person locked in the room in the lab was Richard Robbins, my dad. I finally met my real dad. Looking at his face, hearing his voice, it helped me remember that this man has been the one calling my name in my dreams. I smelled something sweet when I hugged him. It was the scent of my favorite chocolate. Dad suffered so much thinking he was the one who killed mom. But thanks to the another, he regained his real memories. And the one who implanted the fake memories, Bill, he was trying to steal the another. I will never forgive him for what he did to dad, let alone to Jessica. How could he bring himself to do these things? Bill faked being my father to trick me into giving him the another keys and to steal the data for it. He's responsible for this whole thing, including locking Jessica in an underground room and planting false memories in Dad's head. I hate him so much. So Richard thinks he sent the letter, but maybe Bill was the one who sent the letter and made Richard think he did it? Thank you, Jessica. I finally found my real dad. I'm glad I trusted you and looked for him. I know you're all alone and probably worried, but Dad and I are coming to rescue you right away, so just hold on a little longer. I rescued Dad, who was locked away in the lab, and was finally able to reunite with my real father. When he regained his original memories with another, I found out what happened that day at the same time. Dad didn't kill Mom. I didn't want to see Mom dying, but now I'm glad I found the courage to do it. Now that he has his memories back and knows the truth, Dad destroyed the another to keep it from Bill. He kept his promise to mom. Thanks, dad. My real dad, the one that mom loved, is a good person. He loves me and Jessica and mom. He's not perfect. <laughs> he abandoned me for 13 years. But you have to love the whole person. Flaws and all. Okay, sure. I don't know. It was sad and scary to watch mom die, but I'm glad we know that dad didn't kill her. He also kept his promise to keep another away from the wrong hands. So you can rest easy, mom. I guess... Well, let's move on to the next area. Up. Oh. Aha, the caves. And D is still here. Just doing ghost stuff. Oh. Huh? D, thanks. Aww. For what? For if it weren't my for friend. you. I wouldn't have made it this far. Yeah. And I definitely couldn't have saved Dad. What if, like, D comes back to life at the end so, of the game? Thanks. And gets, like, a second chance at life. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, she has an imaginary Bill friend. Save Jessica. I should not have brought her I'll here. I'll help you get your memories back. How? The memory machine is broken. Also, he's a ghost. I'll be right here by your side. Aww. Until you've remembered everything. Thank you. <laughs> what if D is somehow connected to the another machine? Well, we didn't get to hang out in that room at all. That was a cutscene only room.
She is so much yeah. better than him. Oh. Sorry. What were you going to say? And again, the camera framing, like his head is just barely out of frame, like just being cut off by the frame. And then her, her she only has her head in frame. I love this. No, no, you first. Okay. You've been doing research here with Bill for a while, right? Yes, I have. I put autoplay on. So are you friends? They don't seem we like friends once. to me. Then how did things turn out like this? It's a mystery to me too. That's why I want to find him. I don't so believe I can ask that. him about all of this face to face. Hmm. Oh. What were you about to say? <laughs> I was just curious. Before we got into the elevator, I thought you said something. Were you talking to your imaginary friend? I won't I was, judge you. I was um just talking to myself. Oh, okay. I guess I won't judge you. That's all it was, huh? Hmm. Hmm. What does Richard know and when did he know it? Nice butt, Richard. For real. It's so spooky. We know what Sayoko was into. Yeah, watch your step. Bill should be up ahead. Bill, 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 Bill. Science rules. Hold on. I'll go first and check for him. Wait here, okay? I like the the sounds on the echoes. D's just fucking floating there. Huh? 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 Oh jeez, when was D in the secret tunnel? Oh, what the hell? A shoe? Oh, hmm. D's story isn't over. D? I remember now. Why is his voice echoing? He's a ghost. I've come this way before. He's not, his voice isn't producing sound. Through this cave? Yes. That's okay, I, I guess. I was running away. Through the courtyard, out to the cave. He's running away. Who were you running from? It was. Was, was his uncle trying to kill him too? Oh no. That shoe. I'm being gripped by the drama. Thomas, why? Why can't you understand? What's happening? I need that money. I'll do anything. I'll do my son. For my son. If you won't give it over willingly, Wait. you leave me no other choice. Wait. Stop this, Thomas. No. Thomas killed Henry? Oh. <gasps> Daniel, what, what did you see? D, Daniel! Damn, Daniel. No one guessed it. And then Thomas was ch That was Daniel's father chasing him. Oh, wow. Yes, that's right. I can see the person chasing me. That's a plot twist. It was Uncle Henry. Wait. Now I'm confused. I saw my father in the silver bird room, covered in blood. Excuse me. I was scared. So very scared. So I kept going. That's when I lost my shoe. He said he needed the money for his son. So was Henry trying to ch shake down Thomas and, and Thomas told him that he needed th that money? I'm confused.
Did he fall here? Did he die from falling? I'm so confused. Bill. Thanks for all this, Richard. Hmm. How could you destroy another? It took us 11 years to complete. I, I feel a sense of foreboding dread about this cliff with no guardrails. What were you thinking? What's your plan? Where did you send the another data? This guy is not carrying the dramatic so, weight of this dialogue. I finally figured out that I was trying to sell the data. Not, you said so out when loud. You, you said it. When I showed you the roadmap to its completion, you started acting differently after you saw it. So they so were. You took it upon yourself to meddle in my affairs. This guy is so. Hid the another key. Self centered. You programmed a failsafe into the DAS and sent it to your daughter. Okay, so I he did send the letter. You, Bill. I wanted to believe in you. I thought you understood Sayoko's and my goals. Sayoko, again. I am sick of you and your ideals. This guy's such like a generic villain. Oh no, the gun! <gasps> oh no. No! <gasps> Was that a Oh no. No 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 I'm sorry I have to undercut the tension by checking the map real quick. Uh yep, I think this is the room we're in right now. Uh but it's like across the bridge. Okay. Oh, bad, 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 not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Shoe. D's shoe. D's shoe is on the ground. D ran all the way here. Okay, we can't get out through there. Can't check that. Okay. Uh, I'm very. Oh God, our dad's alive. Thank fuck. That everything seems fine to me. Ah, okay. That was your first and last warning, Richard. <laughs> I shot the gun into my ear because I want to give myself hearing damage. I can't believe you would betray us for some quick cash. You partnered with us for all those years, only to use another for your own selfish purposes. I feel like um, Richard is quite a bit naive, still being like, "No, the, his friend is his friend is literally pointing a gun at him, and he's like, come on, Richard or uh, Bill, be rational about this.'" <laughs> Tell me everything. Tell me the whole truth. You wouldn't understand what I've been. Through, yep, I knew it. What I wanted, Sayoko. Yeah, Bill was jealous of Richard and Sayoko. Oh God, he's gonna shoot. Stay back, Ashley. Uh, oh, perfect timing. Why would she stay back, Ashley? And by that I mean keep running towards me, but stay behind my arm. This will make things much more interesting. And Dee's here too. Ah! Oh no, I don't like that. No. Stop. This is farewell, Ashley. What a horrible person. What are you hoping to accomplish? <sighs> what is she like supposed to be standing between his legs or something? Uh oh, what that transition. I was hiding in the closet. I saw everything. She had her memories restored too. Who killed mom? My father. Wait, this is really? My father, who I was told died 11 years ago. He has been secretly developing another on this island and sent me a letter to come here. Franny's father, an artist who lost an arm in the war. He shot his brother, Thomas. Dad's younger sister. She's been raising me for the past 11 years, so she's like a mother to me. Oh, I totally missed that Jessica has raised Ashley. Thomas, Dee's father and a novelist. He came to this island with Dee and was killed by his brother Henry. 
Lawrence, the owner of Blood Edward Island and head of the Edward family. His company was profitable enough to build a mansion within his lifetime, but he remained lonely throughout his life. Or the person who really obviously killed our mom. Bill! He was Dad's research associate helping on the development of another on Blood Edward Island. He tricked me by pretending to be Dad. What would have happened if we picked someone else? But it has to be Bill. Oh, I can't believe we fucking saw that shit. It was Bill, all right. He had the same ponytail 13 years ago. Oh, man. I remember it all. Why would you say that out loud when he's got a gun pointed at you? Ashley. Mom's murder. It was you, Bill. Ha. Huh. I would never have guessed you'd remember with such clarity. So, it was you? You really hadn't figured that out, Richard? It was. How could you? <laughs> Why did you murder Sayoko? She was a traitor. What? A traitor to who? To whom, Stuv? You really are clueless, aren't you? Yeah, he kind of is. Sayoko was working with us. Wait, what? Who is us? From the very start. The Another Project was conducted in secret. Oh, here's a Sayoko twist. Sayoko and I were handpicked by the lab's head to carry the project forward. You were just a researcher, a useful tool. That's all I was to you? We started making real progress. But then, Sayoko betrayed us. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense because Richard isn't super bright. <laughs> He was just a third wheel who ended up with Sayoko, and then this guy, Bill, got jealous. You two stole our research, hid it in your home. So, I gave Sayoko one more chance that night. So he killed Sayoko on behalf of this mysterious agency? I told her to return the research and return to the fold. But Sayoko, she... She refused me. She chose you. Yeah. There we go. So, this is farewell, Ashley. It was nice having you as a daughter, short-lived as it was. Is this supposed to imply that, like, Bill might actually be our biological father? And that's why he's got those gray eyes? That's creepy. I don't like that. I don't like that. <gasps> Ashley! But he's our real father even though he wasn't around for 13 years. When he fired his warning shot, he ran out of bullets. Wait, Stop. D, what? Stop this. What the hell? What are you? A go a go go a go. A go go go. Nobody else will die. Stay back. You you. He is gonna fall off the cliff. Yay! Yay! Oh, D, calm down. It's fine. Oh no, D, what are you doing? Come on. Okay, nice that they show us the gun falling. Richard. Oh, he's gonna smack his hand away. Okay, just hang on. Come on, Richard. Use your upper body strength. Come on, Bill. No, Bill. Have the will to live. Bill! <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was really funny. Oh. <laughs> Least serious death scene. He was smiling, okay? He was happy. Bill. Bill.
Why did it have to end like this? So what about D? Yeah. Dad. Are you okay? I'm okay. You look sad. Eleven years ago, not long after your mother's funeral, he brought white flowers to her grave. He was just standing there, all alone. Even from a distance, I could tell how sad he looked. I couldn't bring myself to approach him. No, oh, poor guy murdered my wife and then was sad about it. Did you ever suspect? That Bill might have been the one who shot. No, never. It never even crossed my mind. What are you gonna do now? I feel like there really might have been an implication that, like, Bill is actually Ashley's biological father. I need to figure out exactly what Bill was up to. Okay, the plot's not over yet. We have to uncover Bill's secret plot. It looked like he was sending the data from that computer. Oh yeah, we still have to find the last uh, origami piece, too. Ooh, okay, well then. This wooden box is addressed to Bill. I wonder what was in it. Update, Bill, deceased. Bill faked being my father to trick me into giving him the another keys and to steal the data for it. Oh, we read that already, okay. Did not update his status to deceased. I okay, can't check this. Can't check this. Please don't trigger an immediate cutscene. I really want to find that origami piece. Ah, there it is. I'm so excited to scan the last piece cause I'm a completionist. Sometimes. Genetic memory. Okay, dad's last journal entry. It's, it's so eerily quiet. I found an extremely interesting article in a scientific magazine today. Thanks to an advancement in research in the field of genetic memory, the field Sayoko once studied, a DNA memory expansion device has been developed. It's expected to be announced soon. Genetic memory is the theory that an organism's experiences and memories are stored in its DNA. And when that DNA is transferred into another organism, the experiences and memories are inherited. In short, this supports the theory that an individual's experiences and memories can be transferred to another person. What would Sayoko think if she could experience this new device? Knowing her, she would want to test it by making a backup of her own memories so that Ashley could have a piece of her after she was gone. If only she could have done such a thing. But Sayoko is gone, so the thought must go as well. Oh, that's kind of sad and unfulfilling. This is... With no one around on the island, I wonder what'll happen to this water mill. Will it just keep turning and turning until it breaks someday? Well, D can watch it. Maybe. Okay. Let's check in with Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Okay. We should be able to get back inside the mansion. Oh, jeez. There's more? Let's go help Jessica. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Let's go rescue our aunt, who's still <sighs> locked up. Ashley? Are you okay? It's been a long day, and it's my yeah. birthday tomorrow. It's Literally. just been a long day. Ten hours on Murder right. Island. Of course. You should get some rest. Sleep on my horribly uncomfortable okay, bed. But what about you? I'm going to go get your aunt. Mm hmm And then we'll all go home together. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Same. This is... Was Bill using this computer? Oh, we can't, like... 
desk looks out of place in a cave. Hmm. Once we leave here, no one will maintain this thing. She's making it sound like she wants to stay on Murder Island. I have to wait here for Jessica and Dad. Wait here, huh? Are you sure about that? Oh, here's D. Just talk to D. Hey D, you totally didn't kill that guy. Don't worry about it. D, it's fine. D, you saved my life. I didn't want anyone to die. Not even Bill. Aww. Enough bad things have happened on this island. He's not wrong. It came back to me. Oh, Daniel's gonna remember how he died. When your dad reached his hand out for Now him, that's new art, I can tell. I remembered my death. Oh, <gasps> D, oh no, D did fall. That day, all those years ago. Thank you for the lurk, Tiara, and I appreciate it. You still playing Destiny and Elden Ring? Well, you're, you're lurking. I appreciate it. I was running from Uncle Henry and wound up here. He caught up to me. Oh man, I don't want to see an adult kill a child. Oh no. <laughs> Daniel, stop! Oh no. Oh no. Stop running! Your heart! It can't! His heart? But I was so scared. <gasps> so I kept running. I ran all the way to the cliff. Oh, and when no. I stopped at the edge. Daniel. Daniel, please! Be careful! <gasps> oh, and he's missing Come an here. arm. No. Oh, no. Oh, D! And he only had one arm, which has been established earlier. I remember now. The last thing I saw. Was a hand reaching out to me. Uncle Henry's hand. Oh, D. Oh, no. Huh? My poor heart. Is that, like, just the conclusion of Dee's story? You find out that he fell off a cliff because of his poor heart condition? I thought he would have, like, died of a mysterious disease or something. Oh. Now what are we about to find out? The desk looks out of place in a cave. There's a lot of cigarette butts in this ashtray. Didn't anyone clean this place? There's a microphone. There's a notebook. This must be Bill's notebook. There's something stuck in it. A picture of Bill and Sayoko. Looks like a photo. Who is that? Is this Bill as a kid? So I guess this would be his mom. Ashley, I think that's Fran. Uh -huh. Now we're connecting the dots. Which must mean Bill was Franny's son. So Bill's related to D because D was Franny's cousin. Whoa. When did you realize? Just now. I had a suspicion when I saw him in the drawing room. Hmm. It was his eyes. They looked so much like Franny's. And then that means if Bill is Ashley's biological father, that she's connected too. Photo of a parent and child. Okay, well there's that twist. It's Bill's notebook. Now it's time to check the computer. This laptop looks like it was used recently. Transfer complete. Oh geez. This is... Chat window. Is someone on the other end? JC Valley 0013 joined the room. JC Valley says, I got the data. Did something go wrong? Oh, he did transfer the data. Huh? They left the chat. Oh no. The monitor shows the broken another. Bill was watching from here. Hmm. 
The monitor reads, transfer complete. Huh? Transfer complete? What did it transfer? I think that's it. Uh. Ashley! Jessica! Okay, cool. Our aunt is saved. You're safe. You made it! Yay! I was so worried. It's okay. I'm here. You aren't hurt, are you? I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, Ashley looks so happy. <laughs> oh, Ashley. Aunt Tired. Is she okay? Oh. She's fine. Just exhausted. She's been through a lot. She put a full day in on Murder Island. Of course. No. I keep thinking about Bill. How could this have happened? He used to be optimistic. So full of hope. Hmm. He never would have done something like this. How does Jessica know Bill anyway? That was the Bill I knew too. Oh, how's Helldivers, Franny? You no need to apologize. I always appreciate you being here regardless. I know, um, here, let me do a an unsolicited shout out to our pal. Is Stoic, um, pro underscore Stoic or just pro Stoic? Because I know Stoic's been all over that game. Mmm, I'm not the only one that's hard solo. Uh, so what kind of game is that? Describe, give me the elevator pitch, Franny. What's up, M? What is, whose emote is that? Is that yours? Luke, 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 Who's this person? They're live right now. About to uh, creep on Luke, Luke, Oh, wow. They got a lot of followers and they play Mario Kart. I'm just, I may as well follow Luke, Luke, Who knows? Maybe someone will gift me a sub and then I'll get those emotes for free. That's a cool, um, that's a cool username. Third person shoot him up. Okay. I'm going to watch a trailer for it. Maybe at the end of the stream. See, We're learning now, about Bill. For the first time in years. So Franny, did you, um, Franny and M, we just missed some dramatic stuff. Bill ended up falling off a cliff and fucking dying. So, and we, so we won the game and we've rescued Jessica. You missed the drama. Yes. It's on the, uh, oh shame. Anyway, it'll be on the VOD and the VOD will go up on YouTube later. Uh, but the VOD will be live on the channel for two, two weeks. Um, but yes, we saw, we saw Bill's demise and we also saw how D passed away. We got a flashback for him as well. And we learned D's real name. D's name. He was so full of anger. And we found out that Bill was working with a a secret agency. Like Bill and Sayoko were actually both working for a secret agency, and then Sayoko turned her back on Bill because I, you know, she fell in love with uh, Richard, our daddy, and so her and Richard stole away the research data. And also, I feel like there was an implication that Bill might be Ashley's biological father, but that might just be me speculating. When did he change? Oh, and we found out that Franny, Franny, the character in this game named Franny, is Bill's mother. We found out a lot of, a lot of twists. I really can't say. Twists and toins. Mm. Ashley, do you hurt anywhere? I do not remember raising them. Yeah, because you had your memories wiped by the another machine. Let's get her some fresh air. There's an exit this way, at least to the coast. Yay. I feel like there's gonna be like one more twist, like one more unresolved plot line. So we found out how, how D died. We found out that Bill is related to the family from this island, the Edward family. Mm -hmm. Is everything wrapped up? We rescued Jessica. We reunited with our father. Oh, that's pretty water. And now we're watching the sunset. With our non-biological mother and our possible non-biological father. It's the cove. Oh yeah, there was that painting. Oh, 
The mystery of the blue moon. It was in the painting by Uncle Henry. Yeah. Are we going to find out that, like, the full moon, like, drives people mad or something? They're giving Do you hear that? Oh, the boat! Is it the boat? But we're not at the dock. We're in the cove. How would the boat know hey! that we're here? Hey! Hey! Huh? Thank you! God damn it! Hey! 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 Ahoy there! Oh! Voice. The captain. If it isn't the young miss. Yay! Captain! <laughs> the best character in the game! How do you... <laughs> you use that lifeboat to get out? I love how D just, like, floats. Like had quite the day. Hey, Captain! You weren't at the dock when I arrived, so I went looking. Oh, good. I was starting to worry. Glad to see you're safe. Hoppin' style! Thanks for coming. What's with the bunnies? I see you met up with your dad, eh? Great. Yeah. Well. How does he know who our dad is? How does everyone know our dad except? What's wrong? You're tired. A little, yeah. I feel like there's an unresolved plotline, and I can't remember what it is. You and me both. It's all part of growing up. One exhausting day. I time. told you. See, Ashley was brought to this weird murder island to teach her life lessons about being an adult. When you're a grown up, every day will feel like this. <laughs> Did I say something funny? I wish I could tell you the whole story, Captain. Even you would be shocked. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ashley's so cute and fun. curiosity, young miss. Who's that next to you? <gasps> Did you make a friend? He can see D? Huh? You can see D? Oops, I, I, I clicked too fast. <laughs> no, don't look at me. Whoops. Hope I didn't scare the boy off. D? Mmm. So the whole thing with D is that this whole time no one else has been able to see or hear D. Sorry. I think I scared off your friend. Sorry about go. that, miss. You go have a chat with him. I'll wait for you here. Is that Ash Ketchum as an old man? I wonder how the world has changed. She actually reminds me of Ash Ketchum with the like the her blush cheeks. It's okay to take it slow, one day at a time. I she forgives him way too quickly for abandoning her for an entire decade. I have a lot of catching up to do. All the new research papers alone, I I was only able to glean so much from the news. He lived on Murder Island for ten years and just like allowed his sister to raise her. Catching up in the latest tech it will be a lot of work, too. Oh, my God. Why don't you catch up with your fucking daughter, you deadbeat? Are you going to keep working as a scientist once we're back? I haven't thought about it yet. I've never done anything other than research. How about you be a father to your child? Well, is there something else you want to do? <laughs> She's like, hmm, any, any uh, duties of the paternal type that you might want to perform? Something else I want to do, I suppose. Hello, sir. I'm about to bonk you over the head. I'd like to enjoy a family meal. So close. He used the word family. So close. Is that close enough? Is that a satisfying answer for Ashley? The day got a bit crazy, huh? You must be tired. Totally wiped. It wasn't too easy totally. for you either, though, right? That's for sure. Aww. But I'm okay. Thanks to you. I got handcuffed and lost my glasses. I love the hair blowing, but now for some reason Ashley's hair isn't blowing very much. Let's take it easy when we get back. It's almost your birthday. You should rest up. Is a, is a full blue moon on your birthday a good sign? 
I don't know much about the moon. Okay. So time to go talk to D. They rendered this whole beach, but we're not going to run on the whole thing. All right, D. Is he going to, like, pass on to the afterlife now? Is he going to be at peace? D, here you are. He Ashley. remembered his name, but never told it to Ashley. You must have been pretty shocked that the captain saw you, huh? I love these, like, fully animated yeah. cutscenes. I, I didn't think there were any adults who could see me. What if, like, Richard and Jessica could see him too and just were, like, pretending that they couldn't? Hey, Ashley. What's up? I've... I've had fun spending time with you. No. <gasps> that was fun? <laughs> yeah, we solved all those puzzles. Being with you was... Oh. I remember everything from my life. Mm. So thank you. Imagine being a ghost What's and this about? having a crush on an alive girl. That must hurt. I'm glad I met you, Ashley. Oh, D. What's going on? You're acting weird. Hmm. Come on, D. Touch my hand. No, he's gonna disappear. I'm about to be sad. Even though this is good for him, he's gonna get to pass on. I know there's a sequel to this game. I thought D might be in it. Oh, maybe he'll like go inside her you, in, a, in a non-sus way. What happened? Okay. There's Dee's Ashley, grave. Can you see me? This is the first time we met him. Can't believe I've made friends with a ghost. What a day. Oh, yeah, we met him That's when we were still so outside. That's why it's so important that I regain my lost memories. Oh, greatest hits. It's not that easy, Dee. I'm, I'm scared. It'll be okay. Oh, and then Dee remembering how his dad Even got killed. Even though facing the truth can be hard. In the end. It's always for the best. I'll be right here by your side. Until you've remembered everything. I still don't really get the conflict between Henry and Thomas, but that's okay. Oh, he gave all his memories to her? Ashley. I'm glad that you don't have to be alone anymore. Well, she was never alone. She what? had her Aunt Jessica. Well, now that I have my memories back, no, D. I think I can move on. Mm. I wanted a ghost friend forever. Tell her your name, Ashley. Daniel. D. Out of everyone on this island, you're the only one who really gets me. Oh no, that's such a painful feeling. Oh no, that's so oh No Goodbye, Ashley. No, she said you're the only one who understands her. D That feel when your only friend is a ghost. <sighs> oh Father Hmm. Yeah, I said it would it said it was a good ending for D. You finally got to pass on. Oh. Thanks for everything, D. That's out of context, I'll save that. <laughs> so long. Oof. Damn. She never learned his name. Oh, my heart. Hmm. We got updated profiles for D, Franny, and Bill. We've um. Okay. 
That's out of date. I guess Franny and Dee were really close and played together all the time. They hid a treasure of shells and stuff from the island inside a piano. There were also some drawings on a table in the study that were done in invisible ink. I even found the hidden fireplace room because of a secret note in invisible ink that Franny left for Dee. I bet they would have liked to know that their fun little secrets would be useful to someone decades in the future. So Franny is how Bill was connected with the Robins. And it says false family. So nothing confirmed for Bill. Well, I think it's time we head out from this island. <laughs> Once we're all back home, I think I'd like a family dinner. Okay, I get it. Ashley. Let's take it easy for a while. Time to get on the... Oh, I love this little... It reminds me of, like, Sonic. Go faster since 1955. Gotta go fast. Hey, finished her chat. Yeah. So then... Well then, how about we shove off? Is that really every mystery wrapped up? Oh, poor D. Well, hey, poor Ashley. Shoving off. Happens down. It's time to go, Ashley. Ashley's gonna be like, I want to stay on Murder Island. Dad, look. What are we looking at? Hmm. Wow. Oh. What a beautiful moon. Just sharing a moment. Yeah. You know, I'll sometimes come out to this cove at night. I'd look up at that blue moon and I'd think about you and Sayoko. Oh, so just, it's blue, I guess, just because of Dad. like the reflection from the ocean? Did you ever wonder where your middle name Mizuki comes from? It's Japanese. Same as your mother. I mean, I. It means beautiful moon. Oh, that is that is a nice touch. Beautiful moon, huh? Like her eyes, cause her eyes are big and gray. I think it's a pretty name. Isn't it? It was your mother's idea. This guy explains the most obvious stuff. It was your Japanese mother's idea to give you a Japanese middle name. Ashley. What's up? Happy birthday. What? Is this? Oh, that it might belong be. to Sayoko. Aww. I think you should have it. This is very precious. Thank you. Your hands are pretty warm, huh? <laughs> are they? <laughs> oh. Hey, Dad. That looks very it's interesting. Been a weird day. Today was a lot to take on. But I'll remember it forever. I'll never forget my mystery adventure on Murder day Island. On this island, the day before my 14th birthday. So, it's just like D's a ghost, and we just like accept that like in this game with a science fiction story, there's also just like a ghost. When I woke up the next morning after getting home from the island, I found something great. Dear Ashley, happy 14th birthday. And on the bed I found the teddy bear. <gasps> oh, she looks so happy. Oh. Two memories. The end.
They didn't really build up the teddy bear thing, but that's okay. The miracle of the blue moon complete. Is it going to play credits or is it going to start the second story? Because I'm not ready to start the second story. Yep. Okay. Wait, JC Valley, 1994. Hold on. We might come back to this. What is this? Is that Sayoko? Ashley. And that eat and the the weird thing that belonged to her mother, the teardrop thing. They tested the another machine on her. Oh. And they talked about having DNA put into something. Oh, the story's not over. The story continues. Next time. Dad and I left Blood Edward Island together. Two years have passed since then. Yup. That's for next time. Can you believe it? I'm about to play some music from Trey's Memories. There's actually a song in another code called Trace Memory. How about that? There's no like loop button on this. I'll have to loop it myself. All right. Well, thanks to everyone for being here. I greatly appreciate everyone who was here on the stream. Thank you, Baronade, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, Franny, for the resub and for getting us over the hill to that hype train. I appreciate it. Um, Baronade also for the bits, a thousand bits, over a thousand bits on today's stream. I really appreciate that. Um, Franny, when's your next Paper Mario stream if you're still here? We're going to uh, raid into somebody and see who's live right now. Um, I'm streaming on Monday. I'm going to be live on Monday with, um, with Final Fantasy X-2. I'm very excited for that. Couldn't be more excited for it if I tried. Ooh, okay. There's a couple folks who are alive right now who we could raid into. Want to make sure that I'm not missing anybody. Yeah. My kitty's here. She wants to say hi. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? I think because it's a special occasion. Yeah, I think I know who we're going to raid into. So get your raid messages ready. If you're subbed, you can go ahead and copy this to your clipboard for the raid. And if you're not subbed, please do stick around for the raid. And you can use this message for the raid because we are going to raid into okay -ish AF because it is her streaming anniversary uh also um I think she just woke up <laughs> so we're gonna raid in and say hi I'm really excited for that I will be back tomorrow Monday at the normal time 5 p.m eastern with more Final Fantasy X-2. I'm back with Final Fantasy X-2. We're currently at seven more followers to another Rocksmith stream. So tell your friends about twitch.tv slash it's the marsh. Uh, VODs will continue to go up on YouTube. I'm also going to start simultaneously streaming on YouTube and Twitch. So for anyone who enjoys watching on YouTube, soon you'll have a way to do that live and in real time. And uh, this week I'm gonna mostly play Final Fantasy X-2 and then over the weekend, next weekend, I'll probably start the second part of Another Code Recollection. 
So thanks to everyone who was here. I love doing these weekend streams now. I appreciate having people show up. Anyone who was here, anyone who chatted, watched, lurked, whatever it is, I appreciate you being here. Have a great day, and hopefully I'll see you next time on our stream and on the Discord and everything else. Have a good night. Have a good day. Ha <laughs> ha. Have a good day. Bye now.